now you can say it. Hello, everybody. Welcome to this week's episode of Broken Crown, where we will be discussing the fact that apparently Gamergate 2.0 has finally occurred. Woo! And this time, we can finally get Trump to tweet about it. <laughs> that's that's the goal. Uh, well, he's he's, order... he's selling Truth Social, isn't he? So there's a chance well, he probably he'll, could. He'll truth, he'll truth about it, I suppose. He'll truth then. about it. <laughs> August <laughs> never ends. <laughs> <laughs> and to some of you will get that <laughs> to facilitate this conversation uh i have i have asked our friend scrum to come on who was uh deeply involved to some degree or greater to lesser degrees depending on how you would like to define it yourself scrum involved with gamergate <laughs> the original I'm one I i'm people sorry i've kind of forgotten this so i'm gonna have to like tell on myself here but I unfortunately i was quite heavily involved with gamergate yes yeah um I, i'm sorry i was i was the consummate gamer gator for a while and we might even be seeing some evidence of that with some of the things that i wrote back in 2015 uh, well this a curious thing that we ago. found out just earlier when we were talking is that i wrote a piece in august of 20 uh 2015 about uh ethics and game journalism for a class i was taking at the time it was published on a tumblr blog and i said it to you, you think you might have referenced my it tumblr looks, blog <laughs> it looks familiar it's quite a good roundup to be fair oh my god yeah we'll be, <laughs> we're gonna be talking about nothing but ethics and games journalism okay? ethics and games journalism uh, let's get go your guys get your boycott calendar out who are we emailing this <laughs> week um it can't escape it it's been 10 it's been nearly 10 goddamn years it can't 10. get away from it 10 years and they won't close it they won't close the gate <laughs> <laughs> well, oh yeah uh when i share my screen here um whenever you bring it up uh spoon we do have some memes that uh... yeah, but your your one is your stream is paused S what? What yeah your mean? stream is paused yes uh, what does that mean? it means it's oh, minimized okay. whatever that means yeah oh one second I let me just close it, it, it we need to get we need to get sargon on because it'll be so happy it's finally gamer gate 2 it's finally happened. Yeah, I, I can't tell if you're being sarcastic or not. <laughs> I can't believe we're here already, guys. It's amazing. We're going to win. We're going to win because it's Gamergate 2. Uh... Oh, oh, she's back. She left, but she's back. Are we having technical issues? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. Aiden, Aiden, <laughs> say funny things. Aiden. Aiden, if you don't say Aiden. something in the next 10 seconds, I will drop the F word on screen. Aiden. Bum, bum, Fat. Bum, 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 bum. British idiom for cigarettes. <laughs> oh. Anyway, as I, as I was saying, I, I, I'm sorry, but I was involved in some of this stuff kind of from the beginning. I, I, did, I did end up in like uh, Le Gamergate. Oh, is there a routing issue? Okay, that's a bit annoying. I didn't end up in, like, Le Gamergate in, like, August 20, uh, 2014 when it was, like, the Zoe post. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. You just, uh... <laughs> oh, that's what... You can hear, you can hear my eyes chinking, yes. But, um... <coughs> I didn't sorry. end up on, like, the ground floor. She's back. Are you... I, I, I imagine you might be getting that weird no root error. Apologies, guys, where, uh... We're having some uh, Discord issues. We're currently experiencing Discord. technical difficulties, and for once, it isn't fucking me. Tell you what you need to do. We need to restart this call. Everybody out, everybody back in. <laughs> what? I forgot. I hate everyone. N says I something and stop being gay. Uh, uh, you oh, do realize Aiden is like sitting there seething in fucking oh rage, going, Ugh! going, there you go. She's back. <laughs> of course, dude, Scrum, you and I were talking for like an hour beforehand, and it was absolutely oh, fine. Yeah. And then the second that we start the stream, it just, just Discord just crashes. Thank you. So much fun. Absolutely. Oh, I love it. I love oh, it. I love it. Uh, I, uh, James Hurley, I was incidentally almost part of Internet Blood Sports. I actually did quite a lot of anti Internet Blood Sports content with Dev. That's what Dumping with Scrump was for a while. Yeah. We did a bunch of like laughing at the fact that all that stuff is kind of shit. Um, I was never on like the Internet Blood Sports streams, though. I don't do like the gay internet debates because uh, they're gay. <laughs> True. 
Okay. How many accents can I do? A uh, fair few, actually. I could probably do slick bag from feckin'. We can certainly do Irish because it's your natural when you get drunk. You refuse to admit to it, but... I would oh, bait to live in shite out of here, you fucking woman. Jesus. <laughs> See, there he goes. <laughs> That's very slightly Hardy Box. You've seen Hardy Box, right, haven't you, Spoon? No. You've never seen Hardy Box. I'm going to have to send either. you the whole of Hardy Box. Hardy Box is so good. It's like Irish Big Les show, but live action. He probably doesn't even know about Big Les show, though, to be fair. <laughs> All I right, like I, I am now sharing my screen. For oh, once. do we want to? Uh, do we want to start with the? Uh, uh, the super being thing. Oh my god! Oh, I I should have restarted my computer. Oh my god! Because everything is. F I might have to. Oh <laughs> great! Oh this my! God. Why are you so so gay? Why am I so gay? It's my computer. Yes. Oh my god. I don't have to sleep at night. Pretty gay. I'm gonna have to anyway. restart. It, it might, hang on, I'm gonna have to because it's it's too fucked. I have to restart my computer. It's just I'll oh be for right fuck's back. sake. Oh my god, spoon, just 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 tread water. You've got you've got the fucking document that has all the links in it. Go look. We're gonna wait for you. Do that. Okay, bear back. Oh my fucking god. Ugh, no, so hard, not Hardy boys, Hardy books. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, Zoe Quinn. How aware of you were? You, how aware of Gamergate were you then, Spoon? Were you around? Not at all. Around during the dark times? Oh, no. Man. I'm so old. I've been around for so fucking long. It kind of hurts. I mean, but, I'm. You and I are roughly the same age, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, we are. But I yeah. know the gay shit back in like 2014, 2015. Um, I don't even I remember what the hell I was doing in 2014. Really? No. I don't remember what I did fucking yesterday. Wow, it's uh, Spoon to Bularasa. I have, I have a, te dude, people have to understand what this about me. I have a terrible memory for basically everything. I remember, wow. I remember almost, the only things I remember are incredibly like life pivotal events. And it's not even like the cliched ones I remember. It's the only things I remember are things that are very, very important to me, like certain rugby matches. And that's basically it. And certain funny things I've seen on TV and jokes. Because people ask me, like, do you remember your first kiss, your first date, the first time you had sex? I'm like, no. Really? I don't remember any of that. I don't remember any of that. None. I remember the girl, wow. but the experience? No. Wow. Nothing. Wow. I have no idea why. I don't remember shit. Wow. I can remember the day when we won the World Cup in 2007. To a fucking T. I can remember that. I can remember where I was when we won it in 2019. I can remember when we won it in 2023. But if you ask me, like, any personal event, I don't remember jack shit. You don't remember I, shit, do you? No, I don't know why. People ask me, like, how do you remember this shit? Like, I just don't. I can remember wow. jokes in television shows, but that's basically as far as my memory goes. That's Terrible awful. memory. Awful. Oh, well. Yeah. Okay, I can remember quotes well from people. Someone once said to me, I've got good memory for that kind of shit. I don't know why. I think it was Lamented God who said that to me. The problem is that I have a, uh, I have a very good memory for things. So I remember all of the cringe. I'm an, I, <laughs> unfortunately, I've ended up as some kind of like old law, internet law encyclopedia in certain ways. It's really fucking stupid. I got luck in 27. No, it wasn't. Mark Quato did not score that try. He can fuck off. His foot was out in touch. Can we, can we touch. take the, uh, the two uh, rotating loading squares off the screen then? Because <laughs> that's going nowhere. <laughs> no, it's just, it's, it's the only thing that's moving in the screen. Fuck it. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, go on. Your spoon is a Sigma male. Remember, <laughs> importantly. That, I, I'm terrible in that I have, I have a great memory for certain things. Although I you, you are right, by the way. I, I am a Sigma male. Ah. Uh, Rain Man of Guess. I am the Rain Man of Cringe. I, I was like a bomb barding Aiden earlier with there's the most awful cringe just the you it's cringe that you won't get but um i don't know if you were around at the time if you if you understand some of like the weird game against stuff i'll put it in the group chat but like will i remember this, some this of it all should, this kind of stuff should physically hurt yeah um, here i'll put it on I'll, I'll hello i'm back i'll share my screen oh god again. yeah i yeah uh, uh oh th yes getting, hang on Get in with saving Western civilization. Oh, it's, it's wait, 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 wait. We have to have it on the screen. It's uh, Scrubs cringe hour. Is that oh Milo? Oh, yeah, we're. Here we, 
Welcome here back. Here we go. Welcome We're back. back. Um, hey. Okay, so here here we go. Uh, if you would like to to truly want to kill yourself <laughs> in Minecraft, of course. Um, in... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the Mount Rushmore. Who are okay. these guys, Dad? That's Sargon, Milo, and Adam, the internet aristocrat, and Ralph, honey. Five Ralph. great men who helped West save Western civilization. <laughs> Ralph! The fucking Ralph went up! Ralph. <laughs> the Ralph of Mail! When... When did the Ralph of Mail, when did the Ralph retort he help save West? This was completely serious, by the way. I, I, I asked you about this earlier. This had to be satire. It's not. It's completely funny. Too. I, I, we've broken it. Aiden is broken. She's giggling this. We're going to go. It, they did age like milk. From those who don't know, from right, from left to right, that is uh, Carl of Swindon, uh, Milo <laughs> of uh, AIDS, uh, Adam Baldwin, uh, Cancer Man, aka Jim, uh, and uh, uh, right there on the end is uh, five foot one and weighs a fucking ton. The Gunt. The Gunt. The Gunt himself. The Gunt the donator. Gunt. Oh my fucking god! And then by the way, oh, Gratz Horwitz. Worse. Oh, I I don't know which. Actually, I don't know which one. This one I think is worse. This one's way worse because this has made it since. I mean, they're both terrible. But the, the, oh. Ralph on the run. Is he still in Mexico? He's still, still yes. living in his yeah. own yeah, air yeah, and being hunted compound. down by the cartels allegedly. <laughs> oh god, damn! It's the Gamergate curse. Oh, my At least Gamergate god. only turned to be gay. Okay. <laughs> Like, I got I got out pretty okay. Like I got out of the game gate like very right wing and slightly gay and that's that's I'll settle for that, okay. Hmm. I didn't end up with a drug problem. I didn't end up going through some horrible divorce. I'm not a lol cow of some kind, you know. What, what, <laughs> I, I've not had to flee to Mexico. You didn't I've have to do that. Executed by the Ukrainian government. Oh uh, my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fuck. Oh, God damn scrum, that was... Uh, <laughs> you know, sorry, I'm taking no prisoners today. I'll stop. I'm I'm rather... No, please, please continue. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> Let it rip. Excuse me. Yeah, it's, it's all of it. Yeah, I, I didn't, like, waste all my money on cocaine like fucking Malinopolis did. Uh, <laughs> Oof. I was gonna say like maybe Andy Warsky because I know he fucking went ham happy on the coke shit too. Uh, he's yeah, doing alright though, as far as I understand. I didn't murder my wife. Uh, <laughs> like a, that is an alleged, uh, uh, an uh, alleged uh, complaint. Me. That is an me. allegation. An uh, allegation. <laughs> no one's gonna know what we're talking about. This yeah, they will. Awful. Even <laughs> even I know that <laughs> one. Oh my god, they, you you want to see something amazing? Oh, it's the tiny <laughs> image, but here, here, here you go. I showed you this the other day. This is the slightly better, non-blurred version of it. But there we go. That is from the 2015 Game of Game Meo. I believe that was... Is it a cake? Yeah. 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 Oh my god. It's the Game of Game cake. <laughs> you will never see anything more cringe. I'm sorry, but I I cursed myself with cringe when I ate from the Gamergate cake. That is that is when oh, oh no, I ate a piece of that cake because I was there. In fact, that is from an article that I wrote. <laughs> and I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll put that I'll put that in there. I tell you, I am the keeper of the old law. I am. That's why. I, that's why. <laughs> for what? It seemed to be a, um, oh god, okay, here's the actual article. Why it seemed to be uh, apropos to ask you to come on tonight, since you I, oh my god, I'm in one of these man. pictures. Oh no, oh, oh, do you want me to scroll down? That's no, 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 no this... hold on a second. Game oh, goes to Birmingham, Gigi and Brum from the inside, this is your article, yeah? This is my article from, like, 2015. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god, we are on yeah. Super Nerdland, guys. <laughs> Some of you oh, will remember go. this. Some of you will. <laughs> It's the deep scrump plot. Oh yeah, you're right, Joey jo Jojo. August oh. never ends. <laughs> okay. If, all right. Okay. Just look the images. Look, look the five oh guys. My... Roll the five guys. Did you, would you have a five? You, you, there... you, you want to maybe? Oh, oh, my, oh god. my good <laughs> god! Zoom in on that. Zoom in. On... Can't they open it a new tab? There. We oh, go. we have to open it a new tab. Hang on. <laughs> there's the, there's an image. Okay. <laughs> Can you find me? God damn. Can you find me in this image, okay? There's, a, there's like a where's Wally. See if you can find me in this image. I will I will be very impressed if you can. Oh my god. Yeah. 
I, this this is like peak memory lane for me. I'm sorry. I did go to like the, I, I just uh, said I didn't want to give you non That image is from Nuka, by the way. Nuka took this. Uh, the one with the maid, the guy in the maid costume, uh, Shabazz. The, the guy in the maid costume with the blue head girl. It says yeah. the image via Nuckable. Image like by a... Nuckable. <laughs> image by Nuckable. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, this there's... is real memory lane times. So there's oh Alan Bakari from Breitbart yeah, staring Bakari, lovingly yeah. into Sargon's eyes down there. <laughs> um, look at this shit. Look oh at this. God. It's, it's so crazy. Capsule. It's it is, but it's fucking insane, though, isn't it? Oh my look, god. Look. Look at this, just whole. Oh, I see you, dude. <laughs> that, there's there's the long image there in kind of the middle of the article, the one that's like the orange room. Shit, I am dude. in that image, by the way. Yeah. See if you can find me. In yeah, it. I found you, dude, but it's alright. <laughs> Did you? Oh no, it's B with hair, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm right in the middle there, and like I, I'm wearing like a Millennium Falcon T-shirt. That's awful. <laughs> That's like me when I had hair. That's like twenty fifth. That's like me nine years ago. I was like twenty three. To be fair, uh, that uh, I, I did I did share that also at the same time. Uh, not knowing Dan. this, and I also was the like, chat well, is like feeling very old right now. <laughs> yeah, we're all feeling real fucking old right now, I am aren't real we? Fucking old. What? Make it stop. <laughs> yeah, that's me in the red, by the way. There I am with hair. Oh my yeah, god. Um. Hair. Evan in the chat is absolutely right. Like for many people, this is the equivalent of looking back in their emo years. Oh my god, that's fucking good accurate. It really is. Here's here's my article that I wrote on my Tumblr, August nineteenth, twenty fourteen. Well, just I pushed just like August never fucking ends. August never ends. We were all cursed by this, by the way. I believe that everyone who took part in gaming, it, even tangentially, was cursed. I the, the curse is real. Okay, it certainly look appears at to be. all the people that have come out of this, and the all the bizarre, unfortunate shit that like that happened, and the fact that we can't get rid of these people either. Like we'll be talking about Brianna Wu as I a know. legitimate news story soon, and I yeah. hate to say it, but it is a legitimate news story. And in year of in year of our Lord twenty twenty four. We're still talking about Brianna Wu, and August has Can't not ended. It. And, uh, no, please, we have to, we have to, we have to close the game again, guys. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you have, you gave me a, a thing to play for that. Uh, I did, I did too. Where yeah. was it? I got to find it again. Hang on, excuse me. Oh, it was here. <laughs> Can people even hear that? Did that come through? I have no, no. idea. Okay, hang on. Oh, hang on. I open it in here. Wait, wait. Oh, I have to open it in there in this tab. There we go. Uh, no, I have to open it through. I'm sharing my screen, so it should work. Yeah. Caleb, just work? look at Caleb in the chat. Should work. No, he, he knows. Okay, it worked. It worked. It worked. Okay, it worked. All right. <laughs> no, who's all gone? All right, it worked. <laughs> you have to close the game again. Thank <laughs> 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 you, you, Caleb. <laughs> CG has returned and I hate it. I want to fucking it's die. It's fucking insane. So yeah, there, here's here's my article that I wrote also in August nineteenth of twenty fourteen. You can't can't escape it. So here's but what's happening now is that GamerGate two point apparently has happened. Maybe again we'll get Trump to tweet about it this time, which okay, is okay. Sh uh, sh shout out to the Shem boys. Shout out to Mike and shout out to Maya's Twitter. <laughs> Um, you the real OGs. <laughs> Normally, I would not say it's good to use know your meme as a source, but actually this article was pretty good. Like, they've done a pretty good job at summarizing what happened. Uh, on February 26, 2024, Steam user uh, Cabrutus uploaded a Steam group page called Sweet Baby Inc. Detected, meaning that any game that was proven to have hired Sweet Baby Inc. to consult, and we'll get into what Sweet Baby Inc. is, they're a games consultancy company that recently got ousted, but not really recently. Uh, people have been calling them out for like six months that this has been happening. Yeah, at least I have a six theory months. On that, yeah, that that these people have been involved in making one of the reasons that games are such shit uh, that they they're being paid to do it. And we're going to get into that. We should we should the, really watch the the CEO. I got it. Oh, you have the stream. Yeah, yeah I got it. Uh. Dude, the so, CEO is out of her insane. fucking mind. 
Yeah, she's also, I, I, I have to should, say this. I watch, it's a 20 minute clip. I want to watch the whole thing because she's yeah. a lunatic. By the way, by the way, I'm telling you right now, that woman, I, I said this on Twitter. If she got white cock, she would leave her fucking ideology. She's I will bet white. my life on it. So this is I keep I keep seeing this, right? Scrum, you want to take one for the team? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't Howie. fucking doing it. I've been there, done that. <clears throat> well. I'm I'm a horrible white supremacist, I'll take, by I'll the way. The silence, I'll take the silence as an answer. I I I'm gonna, what, what? I, I, nobody asked you to, Spoon, okay? True, true. But first of all. Not that. Well, I agree with you. I, I, I ain't going there either, but I'm busy, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would, but, but I have better things to do. We'll, we'll get into that. But I'll, 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 say, I'll leave off my, my things about that woman because she's, she herself is half white. And she just hates white people. Like, she clearly is half white. I have yeah. noticed, I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but mixed race chicks are the most racist fucking most bitches. Racist. Yeah. Holy I, fuck. I'm aware. Towards whites. Yeah. Those of you who know some of my history will you know I'm aware of that. Mr. Mr. Susan, which I think is a Mighty Boosh reference, says Scrump <laughs> equals Gamergate manifest. How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> true, but you don't have to say it. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Mighty Boosh. Oh, fucking hell. That's... I love Mighty Boosh. Oh, what's up, DOT? Uh, Talking about the company and those games in a negative connotation, this was also picked up by the Sweet Baby Inc. employees, Chris Kindred, employee Chris Kindred, who posted on their X page three days later, February 29th, calling out the page and claiming it is a breach of the code of conduct. So basically what happened was people had been growing increasingly aware of the Sweet Baby Inc. thing uh, for months and months and months. Um, Heel versus Babyface, a lot of other people made videos about it four to six months ago that these people were being hired as DEI um, consultants on all these different yeah, games. The cringe fringe, basically. Games, yeah, it's why all the games suck is because, well... My diversity. They're, they're being written specifically to suck in order... Like, they, they say it explicitly, as we'll get to, just to, like, piss off white guys. I can't fathom being like, hey, let's make a product and we're intentionally trying to make the main consumer of our product not like it. But that's how this works, I guess. So this is the guy, Chris Kindred, says the Steam curator harassment He's banned group. now, you know that? <clears throat> yeah, he is. <laughs> Sweet Baby Inc. De uh, detected is led by this person, uh, whatever their name is. Oh, no, we cannot see slick, that, by the way. So they oh, can you not see that? Let me make no, it No, 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 no. It's just like, it's fucking tiny. Yeah, it's tiny. Sorry. Let me enlarge it. There we go. Uh, even with the discriminatory language bitch. filed off, the group itself still fails the code of conduct. What code of conduct? There isn't one, by all the way. It, all it is is just saying, hey, these people worked on this game. This is the part that's so confusing, right? And I, I, I'd ask for both of, both of your opinions on this. Why is it that um, they were more than happy to put <clears> their name on all these different games, as we'll see, all these different games and associate with all these different game companies, until people pointed it out that anyone outside of themselves pointed it out. When they're selling themselves, they're more than happy to show off all their bona fides, but not when someone else does. Well, they really That's... made a rod for their own back there. I think they went out, yeah. bragged about it, didn't expect any pushback. Yeah, yeah. Which is, a... again, it's, yeah. it's very 2014. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have a slightly different take on that. What's your take? Um, why they fr because um, I said this to you if I looked at all the people who are talking about it now um, the same people who are like jumping on the bandwagon I'm including myself on that because I also saw that and also my sub can't ask me to well, we're all jumping on the bandwagon on here because yeah. this is, yeah, this but, is obviously yeah. a hot topic but, yeah but, but um, um, several of my subs asked me before to talk about it and I decided not to because the, the way I look at it is if people ask me to do a video on something but everybody else is already has done a video then i'm looking at thinking well if i can't add anything to it why the hell am i talking that's just like a waste of my time because i just look at it like mm -hmm. it's data and i couldn't figure out why is it because i said this to you the people who are freaking out about it now and jumping on it and talking about it these are the same people that have been talking about it for the past like 18 months mm -hmm. so why are sweet baby ink freaking out about it now and why specifically the, no but why up. why specifically the tracker and I they think the them. They, they must be seeing an effact, honestly. Yeah, that's and the only also, thing that makes sense. Yeah, 
I also think if you look at where the tracker is placed, it's on Steam. Yeah, and for these buy games. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, but there we go. That's the fucking point. Is, is they can operate in the shadows, mm -hmm. and when their name isn't associated like right next to the fucking product, they can at least get away with it. Whereas if you're buying a I product think... and there's a warning label right next to it, like a fucking like smoking cigarette fucking warning label, that's bad for business. And uh, I, I think, think the reason was... why is because they can't operate in the shadows because there's that fucking constant reminder. I think that's sure. the reason why they're actually pissed off. I, I think Suicide Squad, the Suicide Squad game was so egregious. It was so... <laughs> the irony is that, that uh, <laughs> like, um, that fucking harmful opinions say this, like, back. one thing that is yeah. really funny about these people it's is so just awful. that everything they touch dies, and it's called the Suicide yeah. Squad is what kills them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, that is... Oh, good point yeah. from, from um, H.O. there, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, this is just... Uh, here's some it's of the It's really funny involved. watching them spoke. We're going to look at some more of them. Uh, this is the founder here on the right. Um, ah, yes. So the spread, as news began to spread about Sweet Baby Inc.'s employees casting a spotlight and trying to actively get the Steam group shut down, a Streisand effect began to take place, with more people becoming aware of the group, and the number of people calling out Sweet Baby Inc. began to increase rapidly. Users who had been upset with Sweet Baby Inc. for some time were quick to point fingers at individual employees, as seen in the multiple screenshots arranged and uploaded together on the ex-user, whatever, a manga lawyer, manga lawyer on March 2nd, 2024. <laughs> Uh, an employee of Sweet Baby Inc. known as Lego Butts had their mission statement at Sweet Baby Inc. Oh my god, it's Lego oh Butts. Oh my god, it's yes, Sarah you know Lego Butts. Butts. It's, it's Lego Butts. Sarah fucking From Butts. From all the way back. It's Peter Butts. All the way back. All the way back. Wait, so yeah, you know this fucker? This wait, wait, wait. Yes. I didn't know this. I didn't know that yes. they worked for Sweet Baby Inc. Yep. It's Lego Holy Butts. Holy shit. All the way back. Yep. Uh, Scrum, you want to film Lego Butts in? has been involved, was involved with Gamergate. Um, Sarah Butts is somebody who basically admitted to wanting an incestuous relationship with like uh, uh, one of their siblings. They're they're a very mm -hmm. fucked up person, uh, and they that explains why their avatar looks like a fucking goblin. <laughs> uh, they used to have like a the dog coming through the wall avatar thing, mm -hmm. like, like the, the snout pointing through the wall thing. That used to be their avatar, but they were involved in a whole bunch of like weird Gamergate stuff, and they turned out to be incredibly weird, freaky, like proto troon basically back then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god. It was a whole they thing. Say... No, they are a they are a depraved uh, possible pedophile. You can <laughs> see it back never... here. From t June 13th, 2014, pay me to shoot down your white male lead game ideas from Lego Buds. And also had a nightmare I was a white male gamer, also from 2014. Well that's this gamergate person... shit. Yeah, exactly. That's gamergate shit. Now, 2019, I just had a thought about trying this again with a photo of a young white person about to be ripped open, but I'm betting folks would immediately flag it as traumatic, and I'm guessing the image would get taken down before responses accumulated. In 2024, in February, said, I usually get grossed out when straight, white, rich people kiss, but even I think these two are pretty cute. This is one of the people involved with Sweet Baby Inc. Let me see if I can find more on Sarah Nyberg. Fucking pedo butts. Uh, oh dear! So they. You know say, what I find really uh, funny about all this shit? Yeah. And I, Scrum, I I spoke to you about this. Remember when I said to you, all of this incompetence is this designed to stir a race war? And your reply was, no, they just this is like a byproduct they're not even considering. Mm. Yeah. I just find it so funny because I when I look at this shit, all of my um well let's just say inner South African comes out. Because all the people that's like, oh, look, this, the only reason why white people rule is because they, it's just through brute strength. They have nothing else going for them. I'm like, really? Yeah. Do you think if we fucked off, you twats would be able to run the world as well as we can? You can't even fucking run a neighborhood, let alone a fucking country. Get the fuck out of here. You people are moronic, incompetent jackass, and we're clearly superior to you. Here's, fuck here's, off. Here, here you go. Um, if you want some more context, here's what this person used to say in their IRC chats. Oh, oh God. Yeah. I will see, chats. This is gonna be good. Fuck you. Let me see. Bro, hang on. Yeah, open this oh up. my god, the Leo pirate to catch a predator videos come up as well. Uh, it, this is this person, it, Sarah Nyberg, right? Yeah, this is Sarah Nyberg. Yeah. Did you just imply I'm not a female? Uh, I have no clue what I am. People, we are in 2015 anything. at least right about now. <laughs> Wait, I'll revise it. I'm a submissive male to female transsexual. Uh, <laughs> pedophile that's fond of age play and penis girls that really misses somebody whose name's been cut out. Uh, well, you 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 went wrong person. about the degeneracy, uh, Scrum. Uh, 
Holy dude, thank I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> Holy I fuck. Have, if you guys want to see the whole story of this, uh, sure. Leo Pirate, who's now a weird ultra Christian. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Mrs. Alice. Oh dear, this is really S fucked uh, up. Hazel Hoppa says Sarah Nyberg Sarah Butts is not Lego Butts. Lego Butts is Maya Kramer, who was friends with Zoe Quinn, worked with Jonathan McIntosh. Now she's Felix. Okay, oh, Hassel. sorry. Thank oh, so you. Sarah for Butts fun. is not Lego Butts. Okay, I got those two mixed up. Well, it, 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 it understandably understandable. Uh, I mean, they all look alike anyway. Except there. Well, they're both called Butts. I mean. Sorry about oh, Sarah Nyberg. Lego Butts is some weird fucking hipster games journalist. That's indie dev person. Yeah, I remember now. All right. Lego Butts is a different person. So this is not the same person. Why is everyone involved in this shit? No, 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 Always no, they, like a level of degeneracy that is just the. Like, no. Well, this, this is Sarah Butts. Uh, this this little clip. The, the, what I showed you there is Sarah Butts. Before well, we begin, Butts is, is let me just. This, the the fuck Friday, was that? No, 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 that's uh, that's Sarah Butts. Yeah, that is Sarah Butts. Uh, Sarah Nyberg is Sarah Butts. Okay. No, no, I would, I would, I would just say that's just if people want to see the whole story on that from the Gamergate days, that's a good source for it. I would, okay, I'll just post it. Do we want to watch this or? Um, you could do if you wanted. It'd be a, it'd be a blast from the past. I tell you that much. Okay, I'll put it in the watch the other. Yeah, give me a second. Hopefully, it won't yeah. get claimed, but why not? Why not? We're going on. A, we're we're gonna take you back to the past. This is gonna be a long stream. I'm Fuck it. Take you <laughs> back to the past. Okay, tell me when you switch over to the yeah, watch it's, the other. It's, 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 yeah, it's up. Go. Okay. Cool. The oh, I remember this video. What the fuck? Why is it why is it muted? Oh my god, I remember this from forever ago. Why is it muted? <laughs> why is it no sound? Can you hear it? Is it all good? No. There's no sound. You, there's sound for me. What are you talking about? Have have you tried clicking the sound button on the watch together? No. I don't know why why I wouldn't be able to hear it. It's on the watch together, right? Oh my god. Tech, tech issues as always. God yeah. damn it, Spoon. Just <laughs> unmute it, for Christ's sake. Well, the, you're coming... What to mute what? There's nothing muted. It's on watch, watch together. together. Yeah, but the I can see it on my fucking screen. It's right there. You can't hear it. Chat, can you guys hear it? Oh my god. Okay. This is always like this. Aiden, no sound at all. Okay. No so, sound, yeah. No, so this is coming through Spoon's side. What the fuck's going on? Okay. Spin, why why is there no fucking sound? Spin, you can't hear this. No, I can't hear shit. Okay, Spin, have you tried some... unmuting it? <laughs> yeah, have you tried unmuting it? It's not muted, you fucking twats. Then why... Okay, can you hear anything else through this? Through, through Watch Together? I don't know why I can't hear the fucking Watch Together. I... Okay, hang on. Well, let's... it sounds like a you issue. <laughs> it, it it is as as usual, but like let's okay. Hang on, Spin, no, what the why, fuck? No, why is okay? Why is my browser not fucking working? Oh, oh great! <laughs> <laughs> Look, I had to restart my computer. We're just we're on we're on a great run here so oh far. Oh my god, the I think it's me. I think I'm cursing streams. I was cursed on Uzlu stream. I cursed myself, and I've cursed you guys. <laughs> yeah, like there's no fucking sound coming through any of my shit. What the just fuck? Just restart your browser. Uh, gayness. <laughs> Jesus H. Christ, guys, sorry. <laughs> you are such a tech boomer sometimes, Spoon. I'm We're sorry. all tech boomers here. That's what it's about. Fuck both of you. Love you too. Goodbye, <laughs> I got that stuck on my head now. We'll I know, it's because I'm going to play it because Ed, uh, Newland is out and I was going to play Goodbye Horses. Goodbye, I still will. Goodbye, Spoon. <laughs> <laughs> the browsers. Can you hear it now, Spoon? No. What? No way. There's no way you can't hear it. Spoon, can no. you watch anything? Can you pull up anything on YouTube and hear any of it? No. So nothing nothing you watch on YouTube will pay, play any noise? No. And that's our fault? Have you muted your, have you <laughs> your volume mixer up? or like? No, everything is fine. So why can't... Okay, I'm sorry. So you can't hear anything played anywhere? No. 
I'm fucking amazing in YouTube for some bizarre reason. Oh my god. You might want to check your audio mixer. Yeah, check your audio mixer, dude. Like, what have you done? I didn't How fucking do anything. This? Well, you clearly have because there's no sound. Because there's no sound. <laughs> this has been fantastic, by the way. What the? I'm so oh, sorry. God damn it. Complete I'm so boomer. sorry. This has been just just a complete breakdown. boomerism. I feel like God is upset about us for talking about Gamergate, and it's yeah, like God, you know, God will punish <laughs> us. None, none of my browser <laughs> shit's working. You can't hear anything anywhere. No. You want to restart your computer then? What the fuck? Why isn't this shit working? I've never had this <laughs> ever problem. It is ever problem, I know. Why is it I always think... as soon as we fucking stream? I, I know. I've never had it's, a browser. It's, it's always. I know. Every it's always the fucking thing. time. It's, it's always the thing. It, it's all. It's only once you start streaming it's over. that shit just The stream just has goes, fallen. The stream <laughs> has been derailed. It's only once you start streaming that like everything that's worked for forever just suddenly falls yeah. apart. Yeah. <laughs> Spoon, do you want to restart your computer now? I don't know. Fuck I, I think off. it probably. What? I'm saying I don't know what to do. How? Why are you calling me a boomer? It's not me this time. <laughs> for once. Have we tried, have we tried James Hurley, stop calling me a tech boomer. It's not me for once. <laughs> <laughs> it's all Aiden's fault. It. I mean, like I understand. It's easy to blame me, but it's not my fault this time. <laughs> Yeah, delete system doubt, 32. <laughs> if in doubt, blame Aiden. <laughs> Here's what they do. There. I know, when he, when he cut stuff, I always cut towards Aiden. That was right. <laughs> now it works. Can you hear it now, Spoon? Now? Okay, yes. now he's got it, now he's got it. Let's Thank go back. Christ. Oh, what did, what, what Thank solved God. it, Spoon? We have to know. What did you do? What did you do? I know my PC. Okay, he won't what admit do you do? what he did. He won't admit to it. I, it was something really stupid. I bet it was really stupid. It wasn't really no. stupid. It was really stupid. <laughs> Before go. we begin, let me just say that if this video or my channel gets taken down, please check my Twitter or Tumblr to see where I'll repost okay, my videos. Again, we want to remind you that some nice of what you'll see doggo. is explicit. You're naked, there's a 14 year old girl, you're chasing a cat around, you've got Cool Whip. The issue here is not <laughs> gear straight. The issue here is adult child. The one that bothered me the most was the guy that showed up with rope and duct tape. You are oh, every no, Chad, parent's I'm worst a nightmare. Suspected predators caught on tape. There we go. And one is caught going way oh. too far. Tonight uh -oh. on To Catch a Predator. Uh, wait, we can't play that. Make me. On. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, there's the free encyclopedia of Hello, I am Sarah Butts, and I'm going to be playing Rebirth. Uh, Sarah Nyberg, otherwise known as SRH Butts, on, uh, on Twitter, she does a great job compiling the things that Gamergate says in their own words and then rebroadcast them so people can see exactly what Gamergate is. Sarah, I'm a submissive male to female <laughs> transsexual pedophile that's fond of age play and penis girls that really misses Dana. I'll see her in about a month. W wait, wait a minute. I oh, sorry, may have was gotten the name ahead wasn't, of myself. Wasn't censored Let's there. back up a bit and establish some context. This is Sarah Nyberg, also known as SRH Butts on Twitter. Entirely. They have over 8,000 followers, and they've even been quoted in the Washington Post. I guess you could say this person has quite a following. So what have they been tweeting? Let's see oh, some of this user-generated web content. Gamergate linking to leaked nudes, child porn, and libel. But it's about ethics, right? Elliot Rogers wasn't misogynistic, but he was oppressing nerds, according to Gamergate. In case anyone wasn't convinced, lunatic. yes, Gamergate is still filled with neo-Nazis and white supremacists. Well, oh my Cena. god. <laughs> Gamergate These are the exact same fucking thing to this goddamn day. It, 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 ten fucking years later. Well, I think we can agree this person is a rather harsh ten critic years of Gamergate. Later. There's just one problem with <laughs> their Insane, criticism, though. though. What does any of that have to do with video games? Where do video games? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Ah, I can't breathe. <laughs> Even though I'm not really sure what child porn and white nationalism have to do with video games, Nyberg is convinced this is what Gamergate is all about. In fact, they've garnered their following by posting bullshit like this for almost a year. You see, Sarah doesn't really have a job. Instead, they run a website <laughs> called so? Final Fantasy Shrine or FFShrine.org. Oh my god, FFShrine, holy shit.
Yeah, FF Shrine. Oh, oh, this is just a total fucking walk down memory lane. I, I can't. Oh, I'm, I'm having a fucking conniption. Org. It hosts a forum for discussion, right, and it has a section where you can download pirated video game soundtracks. Now, I have nothing against piracy, but I do have a problem with people profiting off of it. And that's exactly what Sarah was doing. In this forum post, you can see... It's like saying, I don't like stealing, it's just as long as you steal for yourself. Well, no, it's, I, look, I also don't have a problem with piracy as long as you're not profit. Look, if you're just stealing something for yourself, I don't have a problem with it either. You're doing a little yo-ho-hoing of a movie or whatever. I don't really give a shit. Uh, if you are then taking the then taking the film and then selling it to other people <laughs> yeah now there's a serious uh, issue i would say i can't believe i'm sat here watching the leo pirate fucking to catch a predator video and it's 2024 I, so i know done very wrong in my life <laughs> sorry scrum Sarah talk about making 35k in their first year and then well over 100k in their second year sarah monetized a site that hosts pirated music let that sink in and then read about how they spend weeks, sometimes months, without doing any real work. For proof that this account is actually Sarah, see this screenshot where they talk about where they placed AdSense on FF Shrine. This way of proving a user as Sarah was also done on a forum post where Nyberg oh defends my God, pedophilia. All, they say oh stuff my God, like, like, having a high age of dude. consent does nothing though. People choose to have sex before they turn 16. Pretending that they don't doesn't accomplish much. And having sex with a child doesn't create a pedophile. Did they just say having sex with a child doesn't make a pedophile? Uh, excuse me? Uh, uh actually... Is it phoebophilia? Um, uh, excuse me, I'm a hebophile. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Holy awful. shit. What you're thinking yeah, of this... is a child... Oh, like, pro thank you, Vosh. Uh, excuse me, uh... Molester. What? And even then, it isn't that simple. Well, and that simple. another sure thing... That... Get me, get, let's get the only one who would defend that is Milo. <laughs> Oh god, no, Oof, my dude! I forgot about all of this. This is so long ago. Oh my god, Jesus ah, Christ! Ah, 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 I remember you, all. You've of dragged it. me back into this. I, ah. Scrump, I blame you. Fuck. That most people don't seem to get. Childhood sexuality is typically not expressed in the form of full-blown intercourse. Anything from playing doctor to mutual masturbation to show me yours and I'll show you mine. There's nothing harmful about it. Uh, What's harmful is society pretending children are asexual. A self-admitted pedophile is angry that most people think children are asexual. Just... Wow. Remember, Sarah was 20 uh, years old when they wrote this. They also linked to FF Shrine in their signature, telling people to join their forums, further proving that this is in fact Sarah... This is not really that strange. Nowadays, nowadays, uh, nowadays you know, half of the American fucking public education apparatus has that fucking mentality. Right, right, exactly. This is absolutely fucking sickening, dude. I totally fucking Welcome. forgot about this, though. Welcome yeah, to the time capsule. But yes, this is who, this is who sweet... I can't believe Sweet Baby hired Sarah fucking Nyberg. I can't believe I'm talking about Sarah Nyberg and Brian Unbelievable. Lou as real news. It's... Uh, it this... Hurts. Is it still... <laughs> no, I thought, I thought that, um... That we were told this is not the same person by Hasso. No, it is the same person. Lego, I, I said Lego Butts by accident. This oh, is the okay. Same it's not Lego. Lego Butts also is involved in this, but this is Sarah Nyberg. So this, this is Sarah Nyberg, yes. Is involved with this. What the uh, fuck? I, well, I, I, you know what? I don't even remember. Let's just keep going. <laughs> oh my God, okay. Uh, fucking Sarah Nyberg. Uh. Nyberg. My anonymous source told me they also confirmed Sarah owns FF Shrine with a Who Is lookup on the domain before it became private. But I'm not going to provide links to that because that would be doxing, and we all know doxing is bad and not good. When oh, people started good. uncovering Sarah Nyberg's other usernames, they compiled ago. them into an Encyclopedia Dramatica page. For those of you who don't know what Encyclopedia Dramatica is, think of it like a much older, not safe for work version of Know Your Meme. It's basically a wiki that allows people to write articles yeah, about yeah, the biggest know. drama happen. Sarah wasn't too happy with their ED page, and when it first spread on Twitter, they claimed that they were the victim of a defamation campaign. Hey. Fast forward months later, and one of ED's Twitter accounts is suspended. The last tweets they made before getting suspended all had to do with exposing Sarah and posting the leaked chat logs. I think the account ED updates is still suspended, so 
do what you can to free Encyclopedia Dramatica. In the meantime, though, you can follow their alternate account at ed.se. It turns out SRH Butts has a habit of silencing people who bring up their pedophile posts. It shouldn't surprise anyone you know that they've also been hey, deleted. Hey, pause for a sec. Sorry, yeah, I, you can pause too, by the way. You're in the. We did mix up Lego books and Sarah Nyberg. She actually has nothing to do with Sweet Baby, but fuck it. We're going down memory lane now. Okay, we're going to. <laughs> okay, so this person does not actually have anything to do with. Uh... Was sweet, was no, sweet baby. This, no, I, I think that was Why the not? confusion. We jumped from Lego books to Sarah Nyberg, but still. Well, Sarah they were Nyberg. both have the name butts in their names, so that's that's where the confusion arose you know what? from. Let's let's just Why not? let's get through this because this is yeah. fucking wild, this is insane. <laughs> all the evidence they can. In fact, Nyberg went as far as delay. So, like, just remember, like this is like when all this uh, Gamergate shit was happening back in the day. Like this is the craziest fucking shit that was going down. Oh yeah. People all, all forget about this now because it's been ten years. Uh, don't don't worry. I see people donating. I'm wrong. Yes, I mixed those two people up. But now now I've remembered who Sarah Nyberg is. So you must share my pain. <laughs> <laughs> Listing ffshrine.org from the internet wayback machine. Now I'm sure you all know whenever someone starts fucking deleting everything, that means they have absolutely nothing to hide. They're just being considerate and saving you time because be there's be nothing to just, see. Just, just for the chat, right? just be clear. Fortunately for us, because because has Hasso has sent us two different uh, super chats, which I will read later. Um, Hasso. Or, um, you can read a whole but, one, by the way. Uh, oh shit! For Horwitz, uh, uh Heimer and Horwitz for a hundred dollars says I start Monday. Well, congratulations you, on your new job, man. Congrats. Yeah. I will read the super chats later, but I'm gonna we're trying to get through this. But congrats, man. Um, as for what you said, Hasselhoff, I will read that later. But um, Hasselhoff has has um made it clear that we are not talking about the Lego butts. Sarah, who works for Sweet Baby Inc. or is involved with Sweet Baby Lethal Inc. Boots. This is a totally different Sarah. This is yeah, Sarah I, Nyberg. I'm so sorry, just but, to yeah, relitigate just, that. Yes, just to redo to that. Oh my god, the only place I can find fucking indefensible is that on his second channel? No, it's been mirrored. The the uh, the indefensible stuff from uh, from uh, Mister Metica is the mm. best source on uh, Lego butts, though. So I'll uh, oh okay, I'll actually, sure. I'll actually link that. This time, okay. This time. <laughs> you gotta give him credit oh, for still being oh, around, oh. by the way. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's go. All right. Well, should we finish this? Yeah, we'll go finish on. this. And Anon managed to save the logs from the site using a different archiving service. I'm told by this same anonymous source that the hacker known as 4chan was not involved. Oh, no. Do we even know? Who is this 4chan? <laughs> no lead hacking this? skills were necessary oh, to acquire God. these chat logs because they were hosted directly on the FF Shrine service. I'm sorry, so that just sounds so fucking boobie by today's standards. You've never heard that quote? You're, you're not familiar with that? Yeah, like, who is this 4chan? Like, it just Wait, sounds like fucking 4chan? comical, you, but did I say You need to watch. You need to watch It's Okay from the Internet, is what you need to watch. That, that's you need to problem. watch me and Trig talk about 4chan. This is the problem, is that Spoon is too much of a normie, and you and I are too much of old oh, fags. I, I, I forgot to show uh, <laughs> my links down below. Yes, uh, links. Do, do, go to, do go to Scrump Monkey. Oh, YouTube God, channel. old uh, fags. I remember that phrase. Click my link tree. I don't fuck it now. Just look at my stuff. Yes, <laughs> all of Scrump's links are uh, down in the description. Um, yeah, Scrump and I are oh, both the phrase uh, old like fags. I, I'd say I, ancient I forgot fags, the phrase existed. Point, so. Am I allowed to we say are. that on YouTube? Whatever. Thousands oh, of lines of chat now. dialogue. And hey, then... I'm gay. I'm half of a gay. I'm allowed to say it. Scrump's gay. Whatever. We're all fine. Does that mean that I can say gay? Well, sort of. Okay, but... Like... <laughs> planted them it's, in the FF Shrine log directory, you can rest assured that these chat logs are real. Please don't tell me they're fake. But don't take my word for it. Check out the links in the paste been provided in the video description and verify it for yourself. Hey, you never know. You might find something I missed. I mean, what could possibly be in these logs that has to be kept safe? Secret. Based on this post made by Sarah in 2006, they were in their early 20s during the time frame of these chat logs. Keep that in mind as I read some of this stuff. Sarah, I agree. Preteen is where it's at. Oh my so god. So date older women, duh. Please, can the art fag form description be changed to art is a bullshit concept invented by French faggots around 394 <laughs> BC because they were so fucking bored with what? sitting around the brushing their handlebars? What the fuck even? What's with these? Okay, what's with the precise date? That's weird. Uh, but also, odd oh, F. French, yeah. French people invented. Okay, well, okay. I, I'm. I'm. Okay, whatever. Mustaches just all go. day. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Video. <laughs> Man, that joke was so funny. It's still the description for the art section on the FF Shrine forums. Seriously, you can check right now. Just in case you needed more proof that these logs aren't fake. 
I wonder what else we can learn about Sarah from these chat logs. Hey, old Sarah, days, but you can say the F word and it was Yeah, it sure like sounds normal. like they want to kill the blackies. They are presenting a oh. Nazi as a figure to be admired. Sarah, Dude, have you actually read Mein Kampf? Time, wow, I bet that put you in the right. Mein Kampf? Oh, I forgot who wrote that. Some philosopher I can't recall off the top of my head. Sarah, <laughs> racist is a loaded word. I think white nationalists are racist in the same sense that feminists are sexist. Oh wow, my God. I never thought of it that way. As you can see, Sarah has some very progressive <laughs> values. Sarah, no, like, I'm I mad at the- I don't this person is such a fucking nutter. Like, they're clearly out of their fucking mind. ...for buying into everything the media says regarding white nationalism when they rant so often about media skewing pedophile stuff. The fact that they are actually... You know what's disturbing to me? This is, like, considered insane by the, by those standards. By today, this is, like, normal as shit. Half the fuck of people who say shit like this are, like, right. YouTube content creators now, everyone which is fucking is weird. Everyone is Chris Chan now. Everyone is yes. Aaron Nyberg now. Yeah. Everyone, everyone is a fucking Tumblr right now, yes. It is, except, it is just terrible. Ex except for the three of us. <laughs> We're not. Well, no, the it, 11 well, Tumblr no. world. It, it's crazy, though, that this stuff... Th this like is 10 movies. years old. It just This is bizarre. <laughs> like, this is, this is gang, crazy. Don't, old. Don't, don't talk about the mud kips. Um. <laughs> don't talk about oh, the my mud God, kips, the mud kips. <laughs> Even I know so that successful reference. says a lot yeah. about the American public. Exactly. Sarah, you can be proud of being white without hating other races. You can be concerned about white issues without wanting to kill the n- That's a <laughs> fucking lie. <laughs> <laughs> I actually- oh, wowie. I'm, I'm Strongly sorry, disagree. <laughs> 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 I don't bring you the safest videos, I'm afraid. It's all right. We're like, we're not gonna. Hey, this stream is funded by you. <laughs> yeah, because oh, sure shit, no one else is going to. Because no, because YouTube has definitely shut this shit down immediately. Please yeah. help us by donating, guys. Help us by donating because I've ruined this stream already. It's all my fault. We are always ruined by. Like, we always end up saying something bad, but it's Sarah, you're not a pedo for thinking kids are cute. Oh, uh, yeah, you are. I'm waiting on the little neighbor twins to develop. <gasps> Sarah, picks ego. To be fair, that is like the, that's like the least edgy thing. It's like you're waiting for the neighbor twins to develop. That's, no, that's fucking uh, no, horrific. No, don't, don't say that. No, it's I'm saying of everything they've said so far, that is the least fucked up. I don't know. what. Look where it goes now. Keep going. There is a half blacky little girl next door sometimes. I'm attracted to the other half. That's wrong, Sarah. Nigras are cute. Sarah, oh my god. she is pretty cute. Oh my but god. I'm not big on black girls. Oh my god. Girls, oh, my so my god. oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can we get some uh, gases in the chat, please? Can, uh, yeah, please. Some G for gas, please. So we have a racist, uh, white gas. nationalist pedophile. Talk about a great combo. What? Wait, was your computer actually seized? Sarah, yes. I don't know what it's about. I don't know what I'm charged with, who reported me, if anyone. <laughs> don't know when I get it back. Don't what know when fuck? I go to court, if I have to. Sad face. Are you going to get it back? Sarah, I have an area of my hard drive encrypted. If they try to break it, up. it could be months before I see it again. What's encrypted? Sarah, anything I wouldn't want people to see. List of passwords, some legal non-nude model pics, etc. I mean, who doesn't have an encrypted virtual drive to store legal non-nude model pics? Right? Uh... No? Sarah, my desktop is my default download stuff to directory. There's Unless no it's more. PTM it's stuff. Then I put it on an encrypted <laughs> oh virtual God. drive. I don't like PTM. this. PTM? Like, what does PTM mean? Sarah. Oh. 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 Uh, huh. Well, now that we know what PTM stands for, let's look up how many times Sarah mentions it in all the chat logs. Wow. Sarah, I don't have anything illegal. Anything remotely risque is encrypted, though. Smiley face. Yeah, because child porn is legal in your world. Oh. Sarah, I don't have child porn. <laughs> sure. Sarah, unless you count lollicon, stories, and non-nude models. I think I'm gonna have to agree with Alpod on that one. Sarah. I don't like babies or toddlers. Uh, <laughs> no! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, I'm sorry. I have to. I have to tap out. What the? What the? Fuck? Shall, shall we watch? Shall we watch something? No, let's else? keep going. That's that's. The, I feel like I'm watching the fucking Pain Olympics. What the fuck?
This is okay. Oh, sorry, I bring you the worst. Shit. Thank you, Scrump. Thank I'm you. So Very good. much appreciated. Uh, this is fantastic. Uh, and by that I mean, keep going. It's funny. Others generally. Oh, be nice to them because when they grow up, they may be attractive. <gasps> by grow up, I mean oh my six God. to what twelve. <laughs> Sarah. I used to think five, six, and seven was too young, but Dana totally changed my mind. Sad face. Dana and Sarah forevers. Now, all the time I was watching oh my this, God. I was beginning to get very aware. Is this, is this person's in jail, please. Uh, Scrump, do you I know, is this so. person in fucking prison? I don't think so. This is, this is insane. This is just this is some of the most disgusting shit I've ever this, seen. This is why people got obsessed with some of the Gamergate stuff. The, yeah. The, these these were our enemies in the Gamergate days. Yeah. Okay? Oh my god. You're wow. fucking kidding me. Air of light Welcome not to feeling all that well. Yeah, I guess so. Wait, wait, who is this Dana person? Here, let me look up how many times Sarah mentions this Dana person in the chat logs. Oh. Holy fucking shit. God, who are they? Sarah, I am so, so glad Dana and her parents do not have the same last name as me. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Oh, God. I really don't like where this is headed. Sarah, she's not actually my cousin. Sure, sure. Incest. You can't fool us with your trickery. Sarah, she's my grandmother's husband's daughter's daughter. <laughs> Still in your family, whether by blood or no. Won't dig it. All right, keeping oh it in God. the family. I see. <laughs> oh God, Sarah, I think I might make a pedophile activism type okay. site. Well, wait. What the fuck? Why, Sarah? Okay. Because I'm a pedophile, Crystal. Sad oh, face. Oh, well, 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 just right out there. I mean, like <laughs> this. This is what we encountered. Okay, you come on the internet, you do a bit of consumer activism, and suddenly there's pedophiles everywhere, and you're like, what's <laughs> going on here? Why? Why are my enemies all paid to fight? I'm just, I'm, I'm stun locked, dude. What the <laughs> fuck? Sarah I... wants to rape her cousin Dana, who is like six years old. Sarah, she's eight. Really? Oh, really? That, what oh, the she's, fuck? Oh, she's Thank not. God for that clarification. That makes it makes it so much better, better that she's eight. Excuse you. Uh, she's not excuse six. Me? She's, she's eight. eight. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I, I hate it so much. And you're 20. Sarah, yeah, I know. Not only that, but if you don't regularly get erections, the skin shrinks, and that's bad for sexual reassignment surgery. All the more reasons. <laughs> <laughs> but Scrum's just having a good fucking time on here. Like, I'm fucking losing my mind. I bring you the best videos. <laughs> if you don't How does this set up on YouTube, by the way? Get erections. <laughs> <laughs> We're watching it right now because, oh my god. If you don't regularly get erections, the skin shrinks. And that's bad for what's SRS? Sex sex or assignment assignment surgery. Surgery. Oh, sex assignments. So. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh. It gets worse. <laughs> oh, it gets worse. No, oh, keep going. How can it get worse? How can it get worse? For you to think up ways for me to see Dana more, sad face. Sarah. Sarah, you really <laughs> think seeing it. Dana will give you an erection? Did you just admit Dana gives you erections? Sarah. I've said I'm a pedophile and that I'm attracted oh, to her. Why is it surprising? It. Because that's oh, just God. wrong? Sarah, <laughs> how is that wrong? Is it wrong? Women get aroused when breastfeeding. Some even come. Is that wrong too? Okay, so this one... Um... I'm, I'm, my, my brain is broken. My brain is broken. <laughs> this, this, this is why I remember the old law. <laughs> Fuck you so much, Scrum. Oh my god. This is I fucking horrific. I forgot how horrific this was. This was not on my docket at all tonight, but what the fuck? <laughs> Welcome breast to the game feeding, gates. Breastfeeding. Oh, I'm, I, I can't. I can't. I can't. I'm, I'm, I can't. This one is a little bit concerning to me, but here we go. A little bit? Here you can oh, see Sarah concerning. posting an image link out, which I've blacked out. But be sure to note that included not safe for work warning. Oh my god, prepubescent crotch shot. That little ah! slut. 
Oh God, uh, God, why is she wearing a bikini? She's not getting tits for like five more years. Oh my God, oh my Sarah. God, no way, no way, no way, no way, no way, no way. How, would, how did this happen? Oh my God, what the fuck? Dana wore a two-piece bathing suit when I went swimming with her, heart. Not a bikini really, though. So Dana is a young slut too, eh? Oh my God. Okay, so I was supposed to say something funny here, but I- oh, What are you gonna say that's supposed to be funny about this? You know what, that's it. I need a shot of Sweden's yeah, finest vodka on. before I can continue. Hey, me! That's what I'm doing. I have August never- time. August never ends! Ugh. Okay, real talk here for a moment. It's the same noise. You might be thinking to yourself, who could possibly <laughs> defend this kind of behavior? When the Encyclopedia Dramatica article exposed Sarah Nyberg, people like Randy Harper responded by telling oh, people yeah, to show yeah, support. SRH bots is also Oh my fucking god, Randy Arthur, there's Arthur Chu. Oh my god, so many old names. So in regular Arthur contact Chu with people like that, uh, Arthur Shu, Zoe Quinn, and Chris Clue. It's not a coincidence that these people also have a history of covering up sexual assault. Seriously, I'm not joking. And we all have stories of seeing, saying something's not right about the situation or hearing accounts, something not, is not right that's going on, but it's not my business, so I'll stay out of it. Hmm. And that's how you get stories of horrible abuse. While I understand being a has-been Jeopardy contestant doesn't pay the bills, you don't need to defend rapists, Arthur. But I'm more amazed by Chris Clue. How do you go from being in the NFL to being an unemployed neckbeard that plays WoW all day and defends pedophiles on the internet? They exposed her online conversations that included conversations about pedophilia, about bestiality, and by um, the way, I'm that- going to, what was Excuse me, let me, that. let me- Well, hold on, Chris, let's at least, you know, Mercedes hasn't interrupted you. Listen, I, I don't know about you, but I don't want to live in a future mm -hmm. where a self-admitted pedophile can flag evidence against them as harassment or transphobia. But forget about the future. Oh, this is what's going on right now. No, had you, did you, you had no idea what the future would hold. That any claims of anything would be transphobia if someone just claims to be trans. This is what, like 2016, this video, 2015, this video was released. Well, uh, I. I will tell you that that person interviewing Chris Clue there was Mercedes Carrera, and in 2019 yeah. she was arrested for child sexual abuse. Well, future's doing up pretty good. Uh, Gamergate! <laughs> oh my god. Welcome to Gamergate. Everyone's a pedophile. Um. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Let's finish this and then we'll go and oh, I'll pull up the other stuff. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I, I, I should laugh at that. That isn't funny, sexual but sexual abuse of a child. Good God. Under the age of ten. Oh my God. Ba -dum -bum -ba -dum -bum. <laughs> That's not ba -dum -bum -ba -dum. I mean, like it's. Holy Got it fucked shit. up. A child you you under the age of ten. We'll pull that up. The thing is, I don't even know if she's been tried yet. The latest news I can find about her is a trial being set back for the twelfth time. <laughs> so, so just for like ten years, just like they're putting it back. Why? Uh, yeah, That's basically. Insane. For why is that trial not happening? What the fuck? Okay, we're almost done with this video. Right now, ED Updates was essentially suspended because they posted stuff Sarah didn't want the world to see. And don't get me wrong, Encyclopedia Dramatica hosts some really fucked up shit, but that's the point. If you want to preserve free speech, you have to defend things you don't like. And lastly, nope, if you're exactly, one of those people exactly, that came exactly, to this exactly. video just to flag it, remember, this is who okay. you're defending. Is this is who you're fighting for. This creepy, lying, pedophile fuck. Last month, the notorious paedophile was blasted into space it's to the spend the rest of his life aboard a one-man prison vessel, <laughs> posing no further threat so to good. children on Earth. But it was revealed that an eight-year-old boy was also placed on board by mistake oh, no. and is now trapped alone in space with the monster. A spokesman said, this is the one is thing we didn't thing want, we didn't want, didn't to, want happen. to happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. There he is. I'm so, sorry, but I'm in my element right now. You are in Welcome your element. Welcome to my world. Uh, so here's <laughs> this. This is the other person. This is Lego Butts, though. You, you've sent me a yes. video, though, about Lego Butts specifically. This is a different person, but this yes. is Lego Butts specifically who was involved this is, in this. this. Current, sorry, we went up. Sex for fight. The current stuff involved with. Uh, We're about to hear sex for favors. So, yeah. favorite guys. Secrets, cover ups, corruption. I've heard things that'll blow your mind, and now it's I think it's video. time you get 
the whole story. I'm Jesse Ventura, and this is Quinspiracy <laughs> Theory. We will arrive. Hey guys, Dev here. For those of you who regularly watch this channel, you know we're Oh no, 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 he's come back. Some of you might have noticed a previous version of this video up for an hour in the middle of the night. We can't escape. Well, I recorded the lines camera lady gave me, went to bed, and woke up to her screaming that there's a ton of new info, and there's a big shitstorm happening, and we've got to do it again. Uh, well, consider this to be the second version of the video. With new added information. Is this, is this actually in case, Dev's video? This video yes? comes from the brain of Cam okay. and Katie. In case it's not is obvious it? by now, Cam has a disability that makes it very hard for her to speak properly in a public sphere. At this point, she can't I've done the Insucky Sunday guy. video in her She's place, totally I've done the advertisements for the channel in her place. <laughs> it seems like I'm becoming the mouth of Camera Lady. I don't mind though. Just know that this video is entirely the product of her own efforts. Let's discuss Lego Butts. Here's I background. can't believe we're watching a dev Maya video. Maya Kramer, aka yeah? Lego Butts on Twitter, is a Vancouver resident. On her Patreon, she claims her job is creating connections. That is, she's a PR person. Now, in the Internet Aristocrat's latest video, oh, he mentions <laughs> Maya Oh my god, memory ways. lane! We know Maya works oh my PR god. for many indie devs. I've got to say that this is kind of the stuff that got me and Dev together. This is why Don't Be Scrum started. I remembered all this. Yeah. The indefensible stuff was good. I mean, this yeah. this is why Dev has an audience and a platform because yeah. of this stuff. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Exactly. And why, and why you used to, we know to Maya work associate with them, yeah. XPR for Silver String Media, a group that's backed by Anita Sarkeesian. We know she helped Zoe dox and DDoS the fine young capitalists. You know, that group that wanted to promote women in gaming, that wanted to make women's games and then donate the proceeds to charity? Oh, and then Zoe Quinn took the idea after getting them blacklisted from gaming media? Yeah. Here's some notes on Silver String Media. This PR group Sarkeesian is tied to is fairly creepy. Heavily ideological, they hold retreat workshops for social justice warrior concepts with a sharply activist tone. Reminds us of Jesus oh, Camp. We also know that Silver String and Maya are connected to the PR oh, departments yeah, of many of the news outlets because that Deb, all released Deb, articles Deb decrying like, the gamer identity. His, and ideolo his own ideological perspective. Like, it's, it's crazy. The subculture. There is even a public Google form where members of these various news outlets and Silver String staff all discuss their issues with gamers. But we already all know this. This is stuff that's been revealed on Maya for a few days now. Where does the Indie Games Fest, aka the IGF, come into it? Aaron, Zoe's ex-boyfriend, came into the IGF, Burgers and Fries IGF, IRC channel recently. He confirmed <laughs> his identity not. and did a Q&A on August 24th and 25th. His method of identification was adding a period at the end of his most recent post on Tumblr. Cyberzerker and the other mods of the IRC can confirm this to be the case. Additionally, Camera Lady yeah, independently great. verified Aaron was who he I said he was. Yeah. Not only was his address in the IRC info panel from Boston, but the name attached, Rough Sketch one mm. leads back to a YouTube channel. This YouTube channel has no viewers and simply appears to be a dumping ground for the testing of various bits of software. The most recent video is of Aaron and Zoe Quinn testing some sort of screen uh, I think this is uh -huh. reasonable proof that the individual who conducted the Q&A and later talked privately with Camera Lady to be the real Aaron. A full day before Zoe Quinn was doxxed, Camera so Lady weird. had discovered her private yes. life, detailing back to when she was 13 years old. Camera Lady decided not to release this info because it served no purpose to the gaming journalism discussion. Instead, she approached Aaron in private and shared everything she knew. Aaron replied with, You have enough evidence that it would be absurd for me not to confirm, and that he considers Camera Lady to be good at sleuthing. Aaron confirmed all of Camera Lady's findings, and then filled in the gaps. I'm not going to be revealing either Camera Lady's findings or Aaron's confirmations here. It doesn't matter what Zoe's real name is, it doesn't matter when she moved to Toronto, or any of this stuff. None of it is relevant to the issue. By the way. Now, mm -hmm. Are you still wondering what all this has to do with Maya and the IGF? Well, here we go. Not only did Aaron reveal to Cameron Lady a lot of irrelevant information about Zoe's past, but also a lot of very relevant information about corruption in gaming journalism. Regarding Maya, Aaron said, Okay, listen. IGF. Zoe told me Maya was sleeping with the guy who runs it, Aaron and all is. the people who won Five were people Burgers Maya was very close with. If you want to look into it, it might be interesting. Don't tell the rest of 4chan, though. Additionally, four hours Don't ago, as of this of... recording,
tell the rest of 4 It seems so innocent at the time. No, 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 this is an absurdist statement. Don't tell the rest of 4chan, what the fuck? As of this recording, Aaron made a post on his Tumblr. Somebody asked him what his experience with Maya Kramer is, and his only reply was, IGF. Camera Lady also asked, was the girl Zoe cheated on you with Lego Butts? Lego Butts being Maya's Twitter go. account. This is the Lego Butts person. This is the person who works. Okay, guys, we've now gotten to it. This is the Lego Butts person. This is the person who does now apparently work for Sweet Baby Inc. We've finally come round to it. This is the person who now apparently works for Sweet Baby Inc. Here they are. Uh, fr from back from the fucking past. Aaron replied, yes. Camera Lady then said, Lego Butts makes sense, given everything else. Aaron confirmed that one of the censored names on the Zoe post was actually Maya's, where Zoe says, I deleted Robin's and Maya's logs. Aaron also mentioned extreme flirting between Maya and Zoe on Twitter back during his panic attacks. Oh my god. That, so that clearly, Maya has a sexual relationship with Zoe. On the personal Sorry, side of that, it's fine. It's nobody's business. On the professional side of it, though, Zoe's having sex with Maya, her PR agent. Weird, but fine. Zoe's having sex with Maya, the PR agent for Silverstream Media, and by extension, all of these news outlets. Not fine. If you thought the Nathan Grayson connection was tenuous, alright. Having sex with a member of the PR firm working for the outlets meant to report on your work? That is a direct connection. Now, let me bring this all back around to the IGF. We already know Maya's not exactly a reputable individual, what with all this conflict of interest going on around her. Let's meet Brandon Boye, the chairman of the IGF. Through Aaron, Zoe spoke of Maya's sexual relationship with Brandon. The many, many flirtatious tweets sent between Maya Felix Kramer, aka Lego Butts, and Brandon Boye, aka Brandon with three N's, all point to a romantic, or at least a close platonic relationship. Now, I'd like to take the time to note that August through December is the IGF's nomination period, and January through March is the IGF's yeah, we all knew about this at the time. When it's do just all of these really fraternizing communications take yeah. place between Maya and Brandon? Throughout all of it, from before the IGF opens to after the finalists have been picked. Having the chair of the IGF in the pocket of a woman working PR for Silverstring Media, a company that represents indie games? Strike one. We know that the winners and finalists of the IGF are friends with both Maya Kramer and Brandon Boye. Not just from Aaron's word of mouth, either. Yes, it's publicly known that Maya is the PR rep for the Stanley Parable, which won an IGF award. But that's only one link, right? Well, hey, Maya, you want to discuss a launch party Man, of Crypto the Necrodancer with its dev? Alright, cool. Uh, oh, Brandon, yes, you want to yes, cozy up with another <coughs> member of Necrodancer's staff? Awesome. How was that party night you and Maya had, Brandon, with a dev that Maya does PR for, and you're supposed to be impartially judging? Was it fun? Speaking of judging, how is judging handled in the IGF? Well, maybe this Gama Sutra article can shed some light on the subject. Today, we're happy to announce members of some of our discipline-specific jury panels. These panels, composed of game industry professionals, notable independent game developers, and former IGF award winners, will determine the finalists and winners of the various IGF 2014 awards. God damn it. Well, oh, I feel a. I remember all this shit now. Oh my god. What does this mean? I, I what never is the vetting process? Never does away. Brandon Boye just <laughs> choose his friends? Uh, is the notability <laughs> factor like, like you hold the buy independent it. game developers? Mine's a fucking safe, I, dude. I, I gotta say, no, my, my, the problem is, I, I'm not one of those people that goes around saying, oh, I have an eidetic memory, but I, I commit things to memory very easily. I remember everything, as you probably noticed by talking to me sometimes. Mm. Yeah, a little bit. Um, but I, I do just remember everything all the time, and I can't get rid of it. Uh, <laughs> it's awful. What an awful thing to imagine if everything like cringe that's ever you happened. You want to trade with me, Scrum? I remember fuck all. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. no, 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 no. Uh, Spoon, you can trade with me too. I have the same problem. Trade. Come on. Um, before mine... we. Bef <laughs> Wait, you want you want some of my a... memory, like lack thereof? No, mine, mine, mine's probably not as bad as Scrum's. So <laughs> I'll trade with you either way. I I will say though that like th this is the stuff. Uh, this does make me sad because yes, this is like Dev's indefensible stuff. That's why I put it yeah. on, and because it, it opens with the fake out because it's like a gym video. Yeah. yeah, it's I'm so fucking old, but this is the stuff. It's good <laughs> stuff. It was good digging. It was Trump, it was good. Content. You are younger than me and Spoon. I know, but I've been around <laughs> longer. Okay. I know. 
I've been doing this since like my early twenties. I've been doing this since I was like twenty. Well, to be fair, you're younger by a year, so it doesn't really like I don't know how much that counts, but still. Yeah, I'm a fairly <laughs> I, I, newbie. I was around when this was going on. I was doing the streams. <laughs> I was already on like fucking streams with like. God, he, here's a deep it's cut. Nuts. It's Do you remember nuts. King of Paul? Oh, Who remembers yeah. King of what Paul? What a lunatic! He's still around, by the way. <laughs> I know he is. I you can't get is. rid of him. He's like he's like I, a cancer. I used to be on his streams with fucking socks as well. Yeah, the yeah. angry, the younger Australian who's still in the yeah. Myers Discord, I believe. But um, so I still it, do know some of these people from back in the day. But well, essentially, we're all the same age. You're you're probably about like eight months younger than than me and Spoon. I think. In, in, yeah, yeah. We're, we're basically the same age. We are yeah. the same age. So. More or less. It's really During weird being on any bunch of people when I'm the oldest the truth one. truth is, <laughs> nobody but Brandon knows how the IGF judges are selected. And I'm not the first one to complain about this. An article on the Rotting Cartridge, posted on February 22nd, 2012, describes one indie team's absolutely horrendous IGF experience. They describe how, of the eight judges that were assigned to their game, three didn't play it, three played it right at the end of the deadline, and I, this is when I went over my Tumblr blog that I wrote. There was so much data on this back then. There was so much of this. All but one judge didn't play the game for more than five minutes. Oh, and the only reply they got from anybody over at the IGF was when they considered going public with the info. Classy, Brandon. What would really make the IGF a shit show, though, is if we could somehow link Maya's parent company, Silverstring Media, back to the IGF finalists and winners. I mean, at that point, we'd have Maya doing PR for news outlets covering IGF, Maya doing PR for indie devs either entering mm -hmm. IGF or assisting with IGF, Maya fucking the IGF chair, who, <laughs> by the way, with the lack of judicial oversight, seems to have total control over who wins the IGF, and yep. Maya's parent company directly tied with IGF winners. But there's no way they'd ever allow themselves to get that entangled, right? Oh, wait. Silverstring Media CEO Lucas Johnson wrote for the game it's Extra Solar, which made so IGF fun. finalist, as this, well as for Crypto the Necrodancer, guys, another who, finalist. Who are unaware, and, and just have, have not caught this because it happened 10 fucking years ago, this is why people freaked out. It was that, yeah. it was very clear that that the entirety of the game's um, industry was nepotistic. Not just nepotistic, but they were all fucking each other. Yeah, the big thing was that the indie games became big business. Yes. Fez was huge. Fez, Braid yes. was huge. Yes. Around about this time, and for years, kind of, there was a big period of like indie game boom from about two thousand seven mm -hmm. right through mm -hmm. uh, to what we see now, really, with like you mm -hmm. know things like Risk of Rain two and quite big indie games right. still going on. Um, but the thing with that is that yeah, a lot of that was based on notoriety from say indie awards did have some weight. <clears throat> it was about discoverability. And winning an award gave you a degree of discoverability. But what we found, and I was part of researching some of this as well, and a lot of people were involved in what we would call digging at the time, which is research. Mm -hmm. um, that's how I got together with Dev. That's what I mean, Dev, as a thing for quite a while. But a lot of us found that there were all these incestuous relationships. The award ceremonies were rigged. It was, you know, mm -hmm. awards for your friends, money for your friends. But where it became so corrupt was it was using other people's money. There were sponsors yes. involved, there was prize money involved, and there was a huge amount of money involved in terms of the promotion of games. And as small as it sounds, as stupid as it sounds now, a lot of people are quite incensed by that. Because a lot of people I know were trying to make indie games. I was involved Whoa. tangentially in helping people make certain smaller games as well. And there was this feeling that really that we were just being laughed at by this in group of people. It's the, it's the same thing but, as but, politics, it's just leveled down. It's a big yes. group when you're not in it. The, the thing is that now, and we're talking about Gamergate 2.0, about that, is that it's it's expanded itself. It's the same people. It's, it's the same people. Person. Yes, it's, the ex it's, it's this exact same person involved in this exact same shit 10 goddamn years later. It's this nearly which is, 10 year old dev video. That's it, the, it, it, I think this it, is yes. the video that maybe get in contact with dev even. This is which awful. Is, this is crazy. A 10 year old <laughs> fucking video. Because this is how long this has been going on for. Absolutely insane. And who helped Lucas write Necrodancer? Andrew Grant Wilson, Silver Strings CCO. Are you fucking kidding me? So, let's recap. We don't know how the IGF contestants are judged. We know Maya Felix Kramer, a PR worker for Silver String Media, has a romantic or sexual relationship with Brandon Boye, the chair of the IGF. We know both Maya and Brandon have close friendships with many of the IGF's finalists and leaders. And, 
We know that Silverstring staffers also work on the games that placed in the IGF's finalist and leader positions. This is again you know who ten else years might ago. Like to know this? And it's yeah. the people who so didn't win now. the IGF. The people who aren't friends Crazy. with Maya or don't work with Silverstring Media. I know if I was an indie dev and I paid a hundred dollars to enter my game into the most prestigious indie contest of all time, a contest in which several thousand dollars of prize money is given out on an annual basis, a contest in which the winners receive large boosts in press coverage and sales, like only to later now. find out that all the winners were friends and colleagues with the girl fucking the IGF chairman, I might have a few inquiries into the validity of the IGF itself. But that's just me. Okay, let's clear off the table a little bit. Forget the Zoe and Aaron thing, forget the nepotism in Maya's past, put it all aside for just a second. Even if you just consider Aaron to be a jilted lover, and that all of this inquiry into the business practices of these people to be misogyny or whatever, don't you think that the IGF should be an organization independent of all of this? Don't you think that, say, the IGF's chair shouldn't have any relationship whatsoever friendship or sexual or even business with the mm -hmm. journalists and the developers or any related staff. The fact that it's Brandon already happened with Brandon Boyer please. and Maya so Felix Kramer is bad enough. What's worse what? is that the like IGF me? lacks both the safeguards yeah, to prevent this from happening knows. again and it lacks the respect for its contestants. Say that again? I, no, I was just saying, someone in, uh, in chat mentioned something called Project Deep Freeze, which is supposed to be like a permanent catalog of all the impropriety of like games journalists. But it, troll with a purpose who sometimes watch star content. I know that, God, that Mark show out where someone's been around for like fucking ever. <laughs> yeah, troll with a purpose is around everywhere. Hey, troll. <laughs> yeah, Dev does sound about 12 in this as well, which is really yeah. funny. It's like Wait, young it... Dev. Before the, I mean, the, to be fair, I think Dev would have been, brushed. what, like, 35 when he made this? <laughs> <So>. <laughs> yeah, 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 back when I was 23, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, we're both. <laughs> yeah, we're, yeah, before we're Dev all, was, like, 40. We're all in yeah. our early 20s, Dev was in his, like, early 30s. <laughs> <laughs> he was so much older than me. I, I they're not, they're all of us, right? Yeah. Yeah. Again, we're like all the same age, so. 39 Fucking now. crazy. He's so old. Dev, you're so <laughs> old. What, is Dev not currently a member of the Cool Kids Club? Being able to promote your indie game we're as a old. winner in the be, IGF hang on, is a to be big fair, deal Scrum, in we're indie old gaming. Now, too. now that we know Maya allegedly fucked Brandon in order to get her friends and clients that little IGF seal of approval, can we ever trust the Independent Games Festival again? Will this happen again next year to get Maya's gaggle of new BFFs, the Indie Games Fest 2015 shiny sticker? Will all of the next year's IGF contestants not fortunate enough to oh, be shit, in Maya's little club get screwed yeah. over yet again? So, that's the Indie Games Fest for you. If you're an indie dev who didn't win this time around, well, don't worry <laughs> oh, about it. For hey, next year, just fun. slap some lipstick on. Hey, I hear uh, Brandon likes smudges around his shaft. <laughs> God Ooh. damn, Dev. <laughs> nice and spicy. Yeah, you should be spicy. Damn, Dev. Just for being women in the industry. Okay, sure. For being women in the industry. <laughs> you fucked Lego butt, so what? By the this way, is why you guys like want them. some more fun this links? Yes, this is why we like. This is why we originally like Dev. Yeah. Dev, GDC come back, also please. Please, Gama Sutra. Dev, come back. And who is Gama Sutra's <laughs> editor in chief? Lay Alexandra. And that one indie game that Silverstring Media worked on and got finalist in in the IGF, Extra Solar. That game's also an Indiecade finalist. Two members of Indiecade's chair. Are Look Maya at the good work he fucking and did Robin here. And Robin are not one of the infamous five guys. Why does it seem like everybody is in on everything in the indie games community? Because they always are. Because they, they are. all Small club. fucking are. They all and fucking are. Not in it. But it's the same people. The sweet yeah. baby stuff comes out. Fucking yeah. Lego butts is there. And now we yep. have to. Like, I'm sorry, but we have a legitimate reason to play an old indefensible. Because this isn't up on Dev's channel anymore. He deleted all this stuff because yeah, he's yeah. a prick. And, right. wanted, and wanted a fully monetized channel. So yeah, he deleted yes. all of his old stuff. He deleted why, why all the Why would this be unmonetizable? Well. I don't understand that. <laughs> the video is, is perfectly it's monetizable. It's content, that's why. Okay, so guys, I am going to hit all of the super chats. I'm going to hit them at the end because we have a guest. Um, Norberus, thank you though for, for uh, stopping by. I will read your super chat um, later. But oh, right I like the way that Dev and Archer are discussing the same thing as what we are. You gotta check out Weird Ghosts and Baby Ghosts connected to Sweet Baby Inc. run by Alakwaka's sister using his company that she inherited. Well, Alakwaka, of course, thank you, Nerd Wars. Alakwaka is, of course, the man who was driven to suicide, um, allegedly, by uh, 
the whole Gamergate stuff. So wow, wowie, yeah, that wow. is the we we do all know that though. We all know Alec Walker's name. Do to do um, which is horrific. But um, this is Sweet Baby Ink. So I want to just play through the vast majority of this. We'll see how much we can get through of it. Um, this woman's in fucking sane. This is the woman who is in charge. Oh, of... Yes, this this is, the, this is the person who's employing that Lego yeah. books person. Yes, who? Again. Yes, who now employs <laughs> that person? Sarah Nyberg, but we had to go. Not Sarah Nyberg, but that was still fun to go through. Just to, or not fun. Actually, that was horrific. But that was um, awful. I'm sorry. I'm Kim Belair. I'm a writer, I'm a narrative designer, I'm extremely nervous, and I'm the co-founder of a little narrative development company called uh, Sweet Baby Inc. What's the fucking point of a narrative development company? Isn't that what Box you have thing. writers for? What is it, from? I, I, there's a lot of a theory that this is they're basically a diversity consultancy, yes. and they're well, box yeah. ticking, but yes. go on. No, I mean, you're I... right, that, that's, that's the answer, that's the actual answer. Is that Can I just read something just... out that's, that's a bit weird? Yes. The timing of this is very weird. So this is something Jim posted yesterday. <laughs> this is yeah. so weird. Jim says here. No, I saw that. Yeah. yeah, it says, Well, it seems a former member of the older medical forums is um, is making some waves lately after his plagiarism yeah. video. Yeah, might have led some to... Yeah, doing something drastic and self-harming. This has all got me thinking that perhaps a retrospective streamer about the forms, the users' activities would be in order to give some recent events. It's a story of edgy 20-year-olds, some something awful goons striking out in their own to be e-humorous, only to be consumed by troll remorse, how they saw positions of power on ED and elsewhere in an effort to shape the internet and how it blew up in their faces and led to lawsuits. It's also had the story of how one man's mom ended up getting railed by a magician. <laughs> this actually happened. I mean, I, we can get into <laughs> it, but... It's um, all true. We might not be able to get into the whole thing, but just, just. The, the, the I know, but it's like it. the, it's, it sounds like for like no. Dev's gonna, oh, Dev, uh, fucking um, Jim's gonna do the same Dev. thing. Just to, everyone's uh, gonna be, be a internet historian for the next like twenty four hours. If we don't shit. get into it, which we probably won't be able to, um, a YouTuber James Somerton has allegedly killed himself allegedly. because he was. Now look, I, I yeah, worked, I saw that I as well. In, actually, I looked into the plagiarism complaints. And they were very legitimate. Okay, this guy did just steal from people left, right, and center. Right? He would, but he was a lefty, and his fellow lefty called him out so hard. No, did he deserve to be? I thought you were out? going yeah. somewhere else with that entirely. No, no. I mean, like, I think that James Somerton should have been called out for his plagiarism because it was egregious to a, a, an extreme degree. He should have been called out. However, no, it's it's more the, like the, the problem when is you said he's way, a lefty. I thought you were like, oh, who gives a shit what happens to him? <laughs> what I wanted to, my point was, is that I think that if if I had called out someone on the right, let's say, who had engaged in prolific plagiarism, I don't think that my audience would go and tell them to kill themselves over and over and over again. No, that's a bit fucked. Uh, that's what the well, left does, though. Maybe, the maybe they would. The whole point about Hates Bomber guy is that he's right. He used to be on like loads of people's stuff. He was an edgy yeah. boy, and he's just a troll yes. from most case. Yes, as uh, as Jim describes there. Mm -hmm. I can't believe how relevant all of this has become. It's, it's crazy. So weird. Right. <laughs> it's the confluence. The thing is, I know right. all this stuff. I know. It's, it's so uh, fun. I I do I think that never come up again. No, but I I do think that it. it I don't think that if I called someone out for plagiarism, which I've done multiple times, but which are largely major academics, not YouTubers, but if I called, if I like said, um, I don't know who's a conservative person who makes actual like uh, long form videos the way that I still make them. No Shit. one. I think, am I alone? Yes. <laughs> You're not alone, Aiden. We're here. I, I, I don't know anyone Aiden, that no, makes long form am, content. Am, am, I, am, I, am, I, am I the lone, this is, this is the lone conservative who still makes long form like documentary hey, style videos? How dare you? Jesus yes. Christ. I, I don't make I don't make documentary style videos. I make very skits essays. But uh. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> no, you no you do, you you make like well done like you know uh, video essays. But I I do like full documentary style stuff. Am I the only one who does that? On the yes. Line? Is yeah, that, that's your that, niche. That's your thing. Oh that's your niche, Aiden. Oh How the fuck you don't know that? Is that me? I didn't you're realize. Also, yes. Like, you're so crazy, dude. That's so much work. Like, I'm sorry, but you all we all think you're nuts doing that. It's so yeah. much work, Aiden. You put so much work in. Uh, Now you're fucking blowing smoke up my ass. But I don't... Because I'm trying to think... <laughs> no, of, is yeah, anyone we're no, we're actually anyone... just telling you the fucking truth. Yeah. No, I also think you're fucking insane. Who's crazy with me? See? 
Same. Yes. I don't because I don't think there's anyone else in the right who who makes um political documentaries. Then why the I fuck are you anyone. surprised I, then? I, I so, the so okay, papers. but let's let's say there there was someone. Let's just make some just pick somebody, pick someone else on the right and just say that they were doing that. I don't know. Um Matt Walsh. Matt Walsh. Okay, he does and then I found out that Matt Walsh that's a little different because he's not really a YouTuber, right? Um he is a YouTuber tangentially. It has to be another YouTuber. Um Tim Pool, whatever. Tim Pool was making documentaries and I found out that Tim Pool has plagiarized all of his shit. Um I don't feel like if I exposed Tim Pool for being a Does that mean he'd be sitting on somebody else's himself? fence? Do you know what I mean? Like I'm saying if I exposed Tim Pool as being a plagiarist, just just hypothetically, which he's not. That but was like, a good joke, you should have laughed at that. Yeah, okay, it was pretty good. Thank you. But let's see, hypothetic hypothetically, <laughs> if Tim Pool was making these these like political documentaries about about something yeah, and i exposed him that like tim pool like stole the beanie from someone you know i don't I mean, think he stole audience... the beanie <laughs> he stole the beanie right and i exposed we... him as He's having stolen beanie. it i don't think tim pool would go and kill himself because he wouldn't ha the, the pressure from the right wing would not be the same as the way the pressure is from left wing these no it's because asian insane. culture frowns upon it that's the reason why he wouldn't do it <laughs> all right anyway let's let's this listen to this this is one of those insane things like it's Dev said something well, spicy, therefore I have to top him. That that no. must be done. Yeah, it, one other uh, thing I'll phrasing, say. Before, go ahead. Phrasing spoon. One other thing I'll I'll say before we start is that um Press. Oh Lauren Southern, yeah, there we go. <laughs> I was at one point invited to go to GDC. Um I could not attend when I was a scholar, right? An active scholar. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. What happened? Did you get the surgery? When you no. used to be a scholar? <laughs> <laughs> no, when I was actually working at the university, because I was uh, I was the head of our game studies division, so of course I was invited to GDC. I didn't go because I didn't have the fucking money to go. Dev. But yeah, I've been invited to GDCs before. Um, I have not gone to one because, uh, and when I under what I understood GDC was when I was working as an academic was, oh, I'm supposed to go here and pre present, uh, you know, like real data and information the way that I would awesome. at like a. Fuck off. The, the way that I would... The, I can't help the way I pronounce some things. Look, I've really worked on... Look, look at how I... Look, my whole spelling so style has changed. I, I've, I've, I've fucking worked on it, okay? But some things I can't change. So... Aiden, um, Aiden please. Hmm. Hmm. Where, where, where are we going with this? My point is that I was... Okay, that I, I have been invited to GDCs <laughs> in the past. Okay? I've been invited to GDCs. I just haven't gone to any of them because... Uh, I, I, my data weren't weren't uh, complete enough, and I didn't really give a fuck, and it was too expensive. We do narrative development in games and yes, kind of beyond. No, 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 I've got a lot of inclusion, <laughs> diversity, new ideas kind of to the industry. So just as a kind of fun fact, um, last year was actually my first GDC, and I first pitched this talk as part of the program. No, I feel so stupid for not going to GDC. anyone who's heard of it. Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, I think it's also kind of appropriate that that's where I talked about this, because it's also what my talk is about in a lot of ways. So, hi. Um, for a yeah, little bit I of background on me, um, I've oh, been let a me tell you about my professional writer my, my for about 12 years, oh, but I've always... Why did I not go present at GDC even though I was invited? Because I was like, oh, well, my research isn't really quite up to snuff. Look at this fucking shit! Sorry, like, look, look at me as a little baby You should have gone to GDC. What? I said you should have gone to GDC, but then you, you probably shouldn't have done because, like, people get roofied in there and all sorts. Like, GDC oh, true, is true, true. <laughs> like, true. GDC is, like, a rapey conference. It really is. Right. It, they always have been. But, like, it's supposed to... It, it's actually supposed to be a research-based conference. It's supposed to be. And I was they a researcher. research roofies, apparently. Well, I, yeah, was, yeah, I was a researcher, do. and I was... I, <laughs> I, uh, I was the person who, who fucking developed the... The, the, uh, the roofing technique? About it. No! <laughs> I know what you did. I know about your weird. Uh, you know what thing, I did. So. You know I know I, what you I, did. I know what you did. I no, know what you uh, did, Aiden. I, along with my advisors, <laughs> developed the Caucus for Games Research in the ICMI, the International Communications Association Conference, and the National Communications Association Conference. We developed the Games Caucus, Game Studies Caucus. We did that. That's my fucking work. I don't give a shit. Game Studies Caucus. That's my work. Get fucked. Bitch is written stuff always the way. Um, but when I hate. I was a kid, <laughs> and I want to start at the beginning like here because I think that it's important to kind of give context <laughs> to the way I learned about representation as a woman of color, and I think the way that a lot oh, of marginalized a woman of people color. kind of get Look socialized pale when it comes to topics like this. At least one of her parents. So spoon, I, right. At least one of this, or either one of you. At least one of this woman's parents are white, right? That's not a joke. Like there's no. This way. means they're a seller because they fucked the wrong race. So she, so she hates whatever, which, whichever one of her parents, but be. 
Bill, oh, Bill's coming up here to do a uh, phenology. <laughs> Bill's coming up here to do a phrenology check. Look at this bitch, Bill. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> I would say, could you can you like embiggen this bitch? I can't make it any more embiggen. You want another picture of her? No, not really. No. Just look at her. Like she's clearly half white. Uh, no. Yeah, she's she's, she's, Sephardic, she's Jew. Sephardic. Oh, she's half Sephardic, Sephardic Jew. Ooh, okay. Yeah, look at that forehead. That's Ava Green. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So B is... Bill's run his. Bill is running. I'm, I'm reminded uh, of the Sopranos bit. Is she like the female Jamal Sephardic Ginsburg, head. the Hasidic homeboy? Um, Hasidic uh, homeboy. Don't you see the little bit of like what's that bitch from Sex and the City? Oh, maybe. Oh, oh God, yeah. Yeah. Parker, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I got yeah, it. She has a slime on a horse face. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so she's okay. So she's half black, half Jewish. That's. Let's go oh, with that God. one. Oh God! Oh, no wonder she hates <laughs> whites so much. Okay, that. Oh, wait, wow. now, now, hang on. Now we can all put shit into into context, guys. That's why she hates whites so much. Let's continue. And tries to subvert them. I was them. small and starting to kind of express myself creatively in either oh. writer writing or stories <laughs> or art. I wrote about myself a lot, and oh. I would put myself. In wonder why? This is crazy to me. By the way, did did you guys ever like write like fiction or whatever? No. Point in your lives. No. I did. No. No. I did when I was young. I, I wrote I've fiction. never written. I I tried to write fiction once and I burned it. I wrote fiction when I was a, like a, a teenage girl. And I was I too burning. Yeah, no, I never, wrote, I never wrote it about. I never wrote nah, it about nah, nah, myself nah, nah, though. Nah, nah, nah. I never wrote it about myself. That's to me. That's so bizarre. Nah. I, I was, was too busy wrote... burning actual things. I. Why do I, I? It's so. Why? Why? It's to me. It's so bizarre. Like the only thing that I can write about is myself. I I wrote. Okay, I'll just be honest. I wrote a really long Star Trek book, essentially. But I didn't write it about myself. Look, it was fan fiction. <laughs> but I wasn't the main character. I wrote it about a bunch of characters that I made up. Yeah, I wrote it about Baden Baladin. Yes. No, no, no. I, that's not what it was. No, I wasn't involved in it at all. I wrote it about a bunch of characters that I made up in my... Fuck you too, dude. Uh, <laughs> oh, I made up a bunch of characters in my... <laughs> You're gonna fucking regret this later, dude. Oh, by <laughs> myself. Sorry. Um, uh, look, I when I was in high school, but I never have just been like, all I could write about is myself. That's insane to me. Is that like that's the only thing you can write about? You sound like a fucking narcissist. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like path pathological narcissism to me. Yeah. To a lot Ego. of art and to a lot of narratives. Yeah. And I put my family and people who look like me in all these cool scenarios. And I was telling all these stories where I got to see myself, I got to see people who look like me, and kind of a rainbow of people who were kind of adjacent narcissism. to me in a lot of ways. Egotist. And I think it was really neat, and I was really fostered in that. So when I hit elementary school, I think that I was free to tell those stories because a lot of the stories that you hear in elementary school are She's about doing like, this from we should be friends with everyone, we should school? be inclusive, we should preach equality and build communities. Why? And I think this was really... But why? But why? Oh, also, um, a handful of opinions pointed this out. In elementary school, you were taught this shit? Bullshit. Yeah, but... No fucking way. Don't believe it. And then the whole class clapped. Slowly. Bullshit. Yeah, yeah. I'm really wonderful, bullshit. but then I got to high school. And suddenly, for the first time in my life, I got told that the stories that I was writing and the things that I was creating for and about people who resembled me were not real stories and they were not right stories. And this was by the who? point that I received a list that I'm sure many yeah, of you by received whom? that was, here's a list of authors and stories that are legitimate. Catch her in um, the here's right, a list of okay. people and stories that are important. And as you can imagine, they were, you know, mostly men white and men almost equals art. white. And uh, guess what? You want to answer but, that? True. By the way, I, I don't believe this. That she was taught this? No, she wasn't. Yeah, I, no. that's that's a total crock of She's shit. She's made this shit. They always make this shit yeah. up. They just make this Absolute shit up. Absolute bollocks. However, what... Who the fuck in your high school told you that, oh, you can't make stories? Dude, at least... Okay, that's such so, a like, th shitty this, lie. This woman is almost assuredly slightly younger than me. When I was in high school, at least, we, we had to read The Bluest Eye, which... Oh my god, why would you make high schoolers... I was like 14 when they had us read The Bluest Eye. That has an ex that has explicit, extensive rape scenes in it. Okay? Like, Jesus H. Christ. And they it's preparing that because, you for an Islamic takeover. Well, no, it's because it was a black girl getting raped in it. And it's supposed to be... I stand by my statement. Ugh. Crazy shit. But just white man equals art. Guess what, bitch? Yes. 
<laughs> throughout most of human history. Yep. Welcome to the West. Yep. Yeah. And so were this of all these stories. Wait, wait, at least we won't write you. Um, of people who were there to teach lessons to the you white know, male characters, you. or people who were there to express pain, or people who were there to be the target of some kind of hate or conflict. And if we ever did read, Welcome you know, here's a book stories. by like a an African American author, here's a book by a woman, here's a book by a Japanese author. It was for a lesson that was about this is what life is like as a woman. She's this just is lying. What pain and suffering bullshit. is like as a black person. Yeah, yeah, I, don't I went. I went. This. Look, I went to high school in the United States. She's lying. Um, I went to high school in the United States before her, probably. She's lying through her fucking teeth. Pain and suffering is like as a Japanese person. And so through that and kind of unconsciously, I started to learn that books by and about white men were literature. They were classics. They were important. Because guess who wrote literature? Because they, they were. Yep. Uh, yeah. right, right <laughs> you learned historical books. fact. Yeah, because you live in a country that was made by European men, you dumbass. <laughs> if you went to fucking Asia and like a, an Asian country, you would be learning their classics. Yeah, exactly. But the... uh, do you understand this? If you went to your fucking ancestral country, why well, you wouldn't do shit because they didn't have a written fucking language? Yeah, trying her her well, she, her meager best because she can't she can't do any of it because she's pathetic. And You're also speaking she's English just lying through her teeth. Age. It's gonna. By the way, like her whole little like I, I wanted to go through this just to, to. This is the person who's in charge of Sweet Baby Sweet Baby Inc. Right. She's a complete lunatic. Now, we're saying I'm allowing her to set it up because it's going to get so insane that. Ooh, wow, we let's go. Important. And everything else is just special interest. They're very, very niche. And then meanwhile, there's like a young me. And all I wanted out of this whole life was to be a writer. And I wanted that so bad that I kind of said, OK, well, what do I need to be legitimate? And I just internalized everything that I had learned. And I Not that suck years, at writing. And I spent like actual actual years just writing about white men because I thought, okay, I'm making art now because oh, I can look at the now. stories that are being told that are being held up as legitimate and as classic, <laughs> and they look like the stories that I'm telling. And for so many years, I did this that I think it was probably only in my early to mid twenties that I started to realize that I had internalized this like deeply, deeply uninteresting idea that in terms of narratives and stories, white and male are you know neutral and Okay, so white and male is inherently uninteresting. So, cool. Well, okay. Thanks for us know. Now, hold on a sec. How does that make any sense? If you were to... Okay, now, hold on a sec. I have to go by her own logic. You said that, that during your school period, you were taught that white men is the basically the grand poobah of literature because that's where the classics were. And now you said it's deeply uninteresting. How the fuck now that they become classics yeah. if they're all deeply uninteresting? By your own fucking logic, that doesn't make any goddamn no, sense. No, it, it, it's 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 contradictory inherent. Lying bitch. Well, you're a woman of color. Yeah. What else is new? It, well, what is she, right? <laughs> she, this this is the thing that I've noticed, by the way. I asked you about this before, Spoon. Is that it doesn't lying? appear that like that no that half <laughs> people who are like half white appear yeah. to have this huge chip on their shoulder where they just hate white people because they know that it's like what okay, you have the choice. As a as a halfsies, of what do you choose to do? What do you choose to identify with? The <laughs> the option that gives you all the social power, or the option that puts you at the bottom of the totem pole, so to speak. You know what's AKA the fucked up thing white. though? <coughs> what? If you speak to it people is. who are um, <clears throat> if you speak to um, mixed black people, the ones who are lighter skin, there is such a thing as light skin privilege, and they are generally speaking more desired by even other black mm -hmm. people. Yeah. And it does really piss them the fuck off because they're objectively better looking and more desired. And that tends to piss black people off. Yeah, of course it does. And universal. And I say that even as a woman of color. So while we don't You're all. Oh, no one fucking cares. I say Bare Oh, and also barely. Come on. Like, look at the color of her skin. If you, if you, she intentionally is styling her hair this way in order to maximize how black she looks. more fucking Colombian than anything else. Right, in order to maximize how black she looks, right? But she, she, her skin color is very pale. Kind of illustrate yeah. how easy I think for us to kind of take on that narrative, even as people who are marginalized, even as we're fighting, because we've kind of created this normal. You have your own fucking company, bitch. How the fuck are you marginalized? It affects us. Well, of course she's marginalized because she's always marginalized because it never ends because it's the progressive march through history. It's a big fucking grift. It's all a bunch <clears> of fucking esoteric bullshit they're doing. Sorry, I need to stop my esoteric stuff. <laughs> I get what you mean. No, that, that, a oh, lot of it is yeah. as well is that this weird <laughs> self-fan fiction. Uh-huh. 
the big the big problem is that uh-huh. they like they they just want to see themselves. They want to see themselves like cloned in every media because they're unimaginative, and they don't understand how to write stories about different people. So they yeah. think that every story has to be them. I try not to right. react to this kind of stuff too often, but it's just it is this like bizarre protagonist brain where they are the protagonist in their own mm-hmm. story, and because they believe right. they are the protagonist, every protagonist has to be them. Yes, it it's actually it's actually quite a, a curious dichotomy in that like. I've never thought about it if that way until you just said it. Huh. No, it, it's completely correct. Like, look at someone like, uh, look at a character like uh, Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker is a white guy, but every single person of any race can look to Luke Skywalker and go, yeah, I want to be him, right? He's me, every man in particular. It's the same thing with, um, I, I don't know, a bunch of Disney prison- princesses. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter uh, exactly, like, what the race of the princess is. Any woman can identify with that because the stories are universal. This, st- If the story is universal, the race does not matter. It's about, oh my God, it's so basic. It's such basic psychological, media psychology stuff that you can insert yourself into the position of a character, no matter what the race is, as long as the story is compelling. That's kind of the point of it. There's all kinds of characters who don't look anything like me that I identify with. I'm afraid she has one, the crazy eyes, and two... I oh, don't she does have the crazy she, eyes, I yeah. don't think she got the white ability to know what she had for breakfast this morning. Or even <laughs> no, I don't think so. I don't think so. I, I, I don't think she... I don't no. think she got the... She doesn't know what... No, she couldn't answer that question. I don't think so. Chirp. Chirp. Even as we advocate for change, there are things and times... Like, back in the day, if you'd asked me, oh, are you doing this on purpose? Are you only telling stories that fit the dominant narrative? I would never have said yes. But I think that a lot of people end up doing what it... What the even fuck as does that mean? Do better. And I think that's actually shown in the way that we... No, like, the dominant narrative. What the fuck does that mean? Which means the cultural political hegemony. Which she sees as... I'm I'm okay with it being white. Yes, she sees, like, there's too many white people. I don't like how many white people there are. I want to reframe the cultural political hegemony into being non-white. Um, that's what she's saying, I think. Deviation I'm, from I may yell during this, by the way. And representation is like very yell. scary, oh, oh, and very uncertain oh, thing. Moon. It's going to get so much worse. And if so we do it worse. wrong, or if we don't do it, <laughs> I know, you know, I've or if really, we kind of oh, take a risk, this. we it might get insane. shut it down, and that fear is enough to stop us. And I think, like, that sucks. And it's such a bummer because it's the only way sometimes that we end up talking about it. We end up saying, we're going to share our stories of microaggressions, which I am going to do today, but we share stories of trauma uh, and of Which doubt, I am going to do today. I am going to share my microaggressions no. with going you. Like, okay, no. My stories are stories are beautiful, but they're also very sad and very heartbreaking. And I think it's important to do that. It's important to share like all of those painful stories if we're going to actually understand the struggle and convey the struggle. But I think today I'd like to take a moment and kind of assume the best because I want to assume that all of you are here. Why are you talking like you're trying to fucking change the world? Like, seriously, I mean, the I way, the, the way, her, her fucking brain, she the she way is. that she fucking yeah. talks, it's like, bitch, you're a fucking twat who listens to or tells other bunch of people to make stories that for some bizarre reason has nothing to do with selling the fucking game and making a profit. Like, it's so weird to me th- that her worldview when she fucking talks. I, in my head, I'm thinking, what exactly do you think is the function? Like, ooh, telling the stories. Like, does it have anything to do with the story of the fucking game? Because you, no, you seem to have this gonna kind of... Oh, no. They, it's gonna they seem worse. to have this, this weird perspective of... Yeah. She's going to explain they, how it they, actually they, has nothing to do with the games at all. Yes. It only has to do with the ideology. And it's just fucking bizarre. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. That's it. Because that's all that matters to them. It's just their ideology. It's advocacy mm-hmm. talk. Because what I've said so far is already familiar, already painful, and I want to kind of assume that you have sat with that. Or Listen to is painful. Game, yes, I agree. Sat and listened to that in other areas. And rather, I think, than spending the next 15 or so minutes kind of sitting in that pain, I want to share some examples uh, from my own experience and then kind of discuss how we can do better and find different and more interesting ways of talking about this stuff as creatives and as advocates and as people who overall God, want so practical infuriating. solutions to these kinds of problems. It's a bunch of nonsense. So let's talk Solution about to problems. Games. What fucking problems? Um, begin, a lot of the work that I do uh, is in narrative uh, consultation too many and white narrative people design. In video and one of the things that I offer as part of, you know, my list of services is risk assessment. My list and of <coughs> services. Reading. And so recently I was consulting. Uh, first of all, you gotta pay her. It's at least a hundred dollars an hour. Uh, to talk to this bitch. You, oh no, to fuck her. 
but like you know sure uh from <clears> something <throat> else i don't know how much it costs for her to pay for her other dude services, if i'm gonna pay a like, hundred quid an hour i want a better fucking service than her for sure i yeah, mean come on. yeah come on she's not a hundred quid an hour i mean look at her look at her <laughs> nah. barely qualified for fucking 50 kind of <laughs> yeah sure that's what she charges that's why she's upset that's why she's so mad she can't get anyone to take her up on on her offer <laughs> Consulting on a project that was a dating simulator, and I was faced with like a very simple Speaking decision of. point that the writers were trying so, to achieve, again, and it the, was the this games they're talking about are dating sims, which take like very little coding to do. <laughs> compared yeah, to they play. do. Right, let's let's be fair. <laughs> like, come on. Fucking <laughs> sensitivity reading. Sensitivity Lord. reading means, by the way, I'm making sure no one will be upset by this video. Game. Between the female I date. And you, Female the identified. you customize oh. your gender, you customize your appearance and everything. So the love interest is on a date with you and they ask you a very simple question and it's, <clears> what was your ex like? Which is a bit much for a first date, <clears> but um, the about? player can either choose to say, okay, my ex was a good person, but. That's like a normal first date question. Yeah, what kind of like platitudes? I don't know, maybe I'm just like a weird autist, but like that's pretty normal. No, just because these people are so hypersensitive, they can't understand like normal human interaction whatsoever. It didn't work it's out. It's because they're not they human beings. They can choose being. to say, yeah. I don't know if I really want to talk about that. Or they can choose to say, my ex was a monster. And choosing my ex was a monster. The so your choice is, I can say, I can choose not to talk about it, or my ex was a monster. Gee, where are we pushing the player towards that? In what direction? Either no or my ex was a monster. Oh. You're giving them two choices. And then she's mm. talking about like how she's giving people choices. That's not a lot of choice now, is it? You fucking Would freak. you like to have nothing or an alcoholic? <laughs> yeah, come on. The woman on the date with you goes like, yikes. You must be so immature if that's what you're gonna say on a date about your ex. Like you must uh, yeah. be not over this. You must be figuring something out. Yeah. And I think that you lose favor in that moment with that character. And I can see where the design was. Like I understand what? that what they wanted to do was just have a very simple question where if you respond, your ex can, or your date can say, I like that, or I don't like that, or kind of be neutral about it. But I played through that and I realized something that they hadn't really seen. And it's that this question was deeply gendered, despite the fact that they didn't even intend that. Um, oh, when she we treat, didn't oh, this is I guess, she didn't cis, design this hetero, game. male. Oh, she didn't design this game, so that's why she's upset about this. Okay, I see. Characters as the default, we end up like questions like this. And I say that because while it's a generalization, when we have those characters and they say something like, hey, my ex is a monster, what we're being asked to assume is that that person has a crazy ex-girlfriend. We're but being she... asked to assume that they're being immature or they might have, you know, a real heartbeat at home. It's almost like a laugh line a lot Who of the time. Who gives a fuck so about any of this? I asked, hey, what if I'm playing as a woman? Because... What I had to explain very delicately oh was God. that if I'm playing as a woman and I'm assuming that I'm interacting with a woman and we don't know about my ex, there's an upsettingly high likelihood that when I say to another woman, my ex was a monster, what I'm referring to was an abusive situation rather than just Who a fucking cares? joke. And this so I actually so said, you know what though? Don't we are talking about a video game. What? How are you placing yourself within a position? Play, play, place it within the PAX par, uh, paradigm, okay? Jamie Banks. 2000 fucking 14. Cite it. You're at I'm done, Autis. Fucking cite it. Cite it. Jimmy Banks. I can't Dr. Believe Jimmy Banks. I'm sorry, I'm getting so angry. This is just Hacks like part. something. This is something like you'd see during oh like God, Gaming Game it. 1.0, though. It is. This is like a GGC talk. We are stuck in time. We're stuck in a fucking it's time. In, loop. It's insane. It's a time loop. Sweet baby in because a DIE consultancy. Um, time is a flat curve. Uh, I should never have supported Game Again. I'm sorry. Uh, the <laughs> <laughs> However, cite, cite this, please. We know that there there are four. There's a four point typology of how people identify with characters. Maybe they don't identify the way that you do. You you are inserting yourself into the the player, which you cannot do. You can't do that as a game developer. You don't know how the the player will identify with the game or will interact with it. There's a four point typology. If you gave a shit, you could look into the research on it. But you don't give a fuck, do you? Because you're a fucking idiot. Sorry, I'm so... I hate this. This is my main area of research. Yes, this is my main area of research, so it makes me very, very... Yes, this is where I really read, because this is my main area of research, so it does get under my skin. Worry about it. We can create a condition for this, because if you respond to that person by saying, hey, my ex was a monster, what if she digs a little deeper? What if she checks and says, hey, is that a pain point for you? Or says, like, oh, is that something touchy for you? Or maybe says, like, Gives a fuck. do you mean that as a flippant remark? Because I think that even though... Okay, you, you know, know how this is, this is supposed to be a dating simulator in a fucking video game in a first date? Well, 
You're talking. If, you, if you're a fucking about, single bitch, I can get you. I can probably guess why. Here's the thing. <laughs> what she's all talking about is like real life stuff. Go deal with that in your real life. That's not what video games are about. Video games mm. are escapism. They're a magic circle. Why are you trying to bring in real life into the magic circle? Johan Huizinga play explained all this in like 1908. What the fuck is wrong with you, you stupid bint? So, you know, this game, it would be a genuinely important moment to be able to express that sentiment in a game. And when I Why? suggested that, the writing team was like, okay, thank you for this insight. And then they just like, took it away. <laughs> yeah, because it was put, your insight was retarded. I they got nervous that and she's going around as well being like the ideas guy as well. That's so yeah, cringe. Yeah. Yeah, I'm the Let's ideas we'll never get I'm the this. ideas gal, right? Right. Crazy. I think that is Could you imagine? I mean, I don't like I, we we've all had real jobs here. Could you imagine just being like at a at a big firm and being like, hey, I'm just the ideas person. I just come by and tell you you're wrong and tell you I don't like the things you're doing without any evidence. Just because how, like a how I feel. You see, <laughs> I've done that before. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no, I've not. I've not. No, I, I get what you mean. No, actually, I, I do. I have. I've had a real job through all of this. That's the worst yeah. part. I had to go through Gamergate with like a like a real job. I did, I was. I've never been like an internet money person. My channel's very small. Uh, YouTube.com forward slash grab my key. But uh, <laughs> it's linked. <laughs> It's linked. Um, but it's true, though. It's just these people do not live in the real world. I just, yeah. It's such like a time online, capsule yeah. for me. It's such a time capsule yeah. because it's so bizarre but this seeing is, this. But this is... this. I, now, this is from 2019, but this just has come out recently. Yeah, it's all come back around. That, that this is what they've been doing now. This is from 2019. She's saying this stuff. And they've been doing it for the last five years. I think that my controversial theory is that because like woke stuff's on a downslope, we've actually mm -hmm. hit like 2015 again. Uh, it feels that way. <laughs> it does we've feel that come, way. We've come back <laughs> down the downslope from 2020 and back here we are in 2015. That's why I'm... I wanted to yeah, talk about it because we're, we're back. We're back in 2015. It feels that way. Do you want to keep going through this? Or... Yeah, yeah. Or did, did it get worse? Oh, no, it gets, it gets worse. way worse. It gets right, way let's keep, worse. Let's keep going then. It's the just, problem just, like, that we face when we think this. of res representation as a challenge that we just need to like surmount. We could just like, oh, nope, solved. We did it. Because there's a reason that we don't have to face it anymore. It, she gets but I thought here, insane. this was an opportunity for innovation. Here we had the chance to make a woman who has been victimized see herself in a game, be able to express something to another woman in a game, and kind of actually relate to it. And we had that opportunity, but instead we pulled back. It's a fucking video game, you deluded because bitch. What the fuck is wrong with you? Uh, a lot of things. Because we thought it was safer not to push forward. And after the whole thing was done, the team thanked me again, and they said, like, thanks so when, much. You she's really going to say some crazy the risk. shit. Like, but I wonder if and I think that the way that we talk about speech, this so. kind of thing is itself a problem. We need sensitivity, readers. We need risk assessment. And oh, these are like... A in other words, they need to hire you. Isn't that yeah. cute? Again, important we need to grow the like bureaucracy. Like on every yeah. PDF that I crazy. Yeah, we need... Me. She's a fucking bureaucrat. Yeah, she is. She's she is a fucking bureaucrat. She's just selling herself. It's crazy. Yes. They send out to be like, hey, I can do risk assessment and sensitivity reading. Oh, yeah, there you go. Hey, I can do risk assessment and sensitivity reading, which means fucking nothing. It's just nonsense words. But I think when we do that kind of work and we make it seem crazy. like what we're doing okay. is, you know, very being very careful, being very scared, we end up just kind of sanding down all the rough edges instead of building something new and building something out. And that means that we feel daunted when we discuss representation because we talk a lot about representation as the mitigation of pain, but we don't talk about representation as a creator of joy. Because I would genuinely- Creator of joy. Fuck Everywhere that. I find anything that has creator people of, of color, I tend to think it's shit. I want, whenever yeah, I see any media at this point, I want to go, how white is the game? The whiter the game is, the more <laughs> men there are on it, the less minorities, the less fucking women, the more homogenous and racist the fucking game is, I know it's going to sell better. The reason I know this is because I can fucking see a pattern. I do not give a flying yeah, fuck yeah. if in the most racist, sexist, violent thing I can fucking find because I can guarantee it's going to be better.
Yeah. Every time, every fucking time. Love just once to be called into one of these consulting sessions, and instead of being asked like, "Hey, can you tell us how this is going to hurt people bitch. like you?" Just be asked, <laughs> "Hey, what would you like to see people like you do in this game? What experiences can people like you bring to the?" I guarantee you, if she went into the meeting and somebody asked her, "What kind of things would hurt people like you?" and they just sold that, I guarantee it would sell better. True. I honest. fucking guarantee you would sell better. <laughs> True. World of the game that we haven't seen before. What's a cool thing that you want to see from characters who look and act like you? In the present sale. And it's not the way we're taught to talk about it, but I think it could be. Because even when we're doing narrative design, we're looking at archetypes every time we want to have a set of answers, right? We're looking, Where's this is what a rebel would do. This is what a jerk would Where, do. This is what a more straight-laced person would do. <laughs> and I think question. I would love to start <laughs> thinking about more like what options. Where's our representation? Well, we were the yeah, slave no. masters at one point. It's like, look, this game, everyone thinks like me. It's called, um, I'm Raikan Volkan Fuhrer. No, um. Uh, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, apparently it's called, a, a, what's it called? Hellbenders or whatever. Hell, uh, yeah, it's, uh, Hell it's divers. called, uh, Hell Divers. Hell Divers. It's called Muff Divers too, yeah. Muff Divers <laughs> too, yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Everyone, God. But like again, you could make a game that people will. There's all kinds of games that keep popping off that people like because they're actually fun, that people enjoy, and they don't have any of this bullshit in them. That's that's what people have, want. They just want to play have, a fucking video game. Have to any of you from their shitty fucking lives? Have any of you guys played shit into it? Have you guys ever played any character in any game ever and just thought uh, like, oh God, I wish that these two races were different. Have you mean? ever played any game and thought that? No. Yeah, exactly. I never looked at I, CJ and like, oh my god, I wish this uh, the character was white. Oh, never, well, like, yeah, like, never occurred like that in, to me. In GTA, yeah. Yeah, you know? never. I mean, like, I was, okay, so like my always go-to is Mass Effect. Because um, it's probably like my favorite game ever. But um, the whole Mass Effect th series. And Dragon Age. God fucking rip Bioware. Rip. Oh, I'll, yeah. I'll take my hats off in solidarity. Rip for Bioware. Oh, rip yeah. Bioware. in the chat for Bioware. Oh my god. Dragon Age so Origins sad. was such a good game and they such never lived a, up to that shit. No, nothing none, none of the sequels ever did. Um uh, was Morgan. a fun foe was a was a very fun foe um MMO, but and I did like um that one guy with the beard. I did uh, but but it's no, Dragon Age Origins. Dra Dragon Age. I can't even remember his name because look, look. I can remember Alistair? every character from. Yeah, Alistair from DAO, but I, the guy from Blackwall, Blackwall in, in DAI. Yes. But um, look, and and I and I, and I love Garrus forever. He's my perpetual husband from Mass Effect. But like, there's nothing. There's never going to be a game like that again. I don't think anytime, anytime. I like Garrus. Like Garrus is my best too. boy. Garrus is Garrus is fucking great. It's That's because so when you fun. if you spec them right, the arrows can fuck up virtually anything. <laughs> I, oh my god! Yes. When I replayed Mass Effect, I put in and some three especially. Like, oh. Jesus fucking Christ! You can basically solo most of the fucking bosses. Yeah, oh, I just I love I, the sequels. The sequels are so good. I put in a mod though when I replayed Mass Effect last year, um, to allow me to continue to use sniper rifles throughout the entire series, even though I'm 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 an adept. I always play adept uh, to do mm. to just you know do magic, excuse me, brain magic. Fighting a rogue spectre. <laughs> it was just so fun. It was so fun to just sit behind objects and just snipe shit. Me and Garrus is like, let's just go snipe heads. I loved it. It was so fun. I really enjoy. I really, really re I really, really enjoyed uh, replaying. I like Mass Rex Black. as well. I love Rex uh, as well. Yeah. But like, though, but that's the thing. I have nostalgic feelings for playing those games because they're fucking fun, <laughs> I, and they're I not will, that will... old. They're not that yeah. old. And they it's two thousand and say up until the last third of it, Mass Effect mm -hmm. Three is a very good game. Yeah, the Those last games third. Yeah, the the uh, I remember the ending. Oh my god, the ending pissed off so many people. Those stock images in the ending of Mass Effect Three, the Ooh, fucking so bad, shit, so the bad, stock so bad. shit, so bad. I mean, uh, and I, so look, I, I finished. Uh, I really liked um, Cyberpunk, even though it had all kinds of issues at, at first. Oh I, yeah, I did enjoy Cyberpunk. I loved The Witcher games. Um. You know, there's still good games that come out. So like this, this shit's just. Scrum, who was the chick that you romanced in in, uh, in Mass Effect? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, obviously, I've got blue fever. Excuse me. Oh, oh for no. fuck's sakes! <laughs> Shut up. God damn. What? Spoon what? always asks this question. <laughs> Fuck you. Am I the only one that romanced Jack? Give yes, because she's insane. No, I. That's I, why I, she's I, sexy. I, I, 
I had a playthrough where I did romance Jack. Jack, rem- Jack reminds me of my, one of my exes. <laughs> that, that, there you go. There you go. Like, I, I said this in a video. <laughs> the way that I looked at Jack, when you first meet her, she fucking tears through her bonds and then solos three mechs and bursts through the ship hull. I'm like, holy fuck, she can kick ass. What is my function in the game? Assemble a squad that can fucking beat up the um the collectors. What does she do? Mm-hmm. Kick ass. What do I need people to do? Kick ass. So I liked her. Mm-hmm. She had um, function. Uh, I was yeah. going to say, uh, Spoon confirmed for wanting a tomboy muscle dummy. Does but... seem like it, doesn't it? Fucking, yeah, I've got to say. Yeah, Spoon, uh, you've said uh... a lo- I'm afraid you've said a lot <laughs> about yourself in this stream. <laughs> uh, what, for saying I like a chick that's got function? I agree with you, though. Jack, best girl. Uh, there you go. No, 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 Tally, best girl. Oh, my God. It's oh, the Tally. amount of people who sim for Tally is fucking unreal. I, I by the way, girl. I have Tally never got gotten Daily shit. Well, I have never this. gotten <laughs> shit from my <laughs> chat. Booty. That I've never Tally gotten more girl. shit from my chat for anything I've ever done as far as games goes than not picking Tally. Tally is like a fan fucking favorite for so many people. Because Tally's Where's my harem ending? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I even V said. Really even when, what, when I discussed this with V, the first thing he just said, like, I'm disappointed said, oh, that me. you didn't fucking choose Tally. I'm like, God me damn it, V. Choose Tally, man. <laughs> I am. Look, the one. Okay, this is the thing. The Bethesda got right. Not Bethesda, excuse me. Um, shit. Uh, who who made Mass Effect now? Uh, completely defunct company. Bio Bioware. Yes, thank you. Um. That last that last DLC for Mass Effect Three, the um, uh, party one, the the one where where you could just hang out with all the other characters. Yeah, the party one. Party one. That's the best yeah. thing they could have ever made, and yeah. it's perfect. Yeah. It's fucking perfect. Oh, it's all it's all anybody at the end of at the end of a three game series is all ever, anyone ever wanted to do. You just talk to these characters. Nobody yeah. wants to do that with most modern video games. Now, I think Baldur's Gate 3 has done a really good job. I think Baldur's Gate 3 has done a fantastic job, actually. But it's a diamond. Yes, Diago, I, I, I like the chat, yeah. the, the tantrum up PS chick. I like the chick who's a fucking psychopath who will destroy shit if you piss her off. I find yeah, that sorry. sexy as fuck. That's Spoon. Uh, Spoon, play Cyberpunk. Spoon. What do you think about that? <laughs> I'm going to say, Spoon, you're... Uh... You're you're saying a lot about yourself. <laughs> I think Fuck you off! You will not judge me, you fucking pricks. <laughs> you need to have a word with ritualist. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Muscle All right, let's girls, continue. muscle girls, muscle girls. Let's continue. What option can we make for people who haven't been seen? What can we add that provides a new perspective that we've never is, by the way. So I think if we prioritize joy Fuck and only. start to frame representation as you know a new form of innovation rather than as pain avoidance and like oh, surface no. level Ugh. diversity, we're going to actually start to win a few more battles and generate moments of- It is all surface level diversity. Well, what, what the fuck are you actual- talking about? A few more battles? What? Bitch, you ain't in a fucking she's war? Talking, she's talking about furthering the revolution. Exactly. I mean, there's, there's yes. a great quote by like Jonathan Bowden about this. It's yeah. like, look, yeah. you can't laugh at leftists. These people are very serious. And they because are. they're serious about that never ending revolution, they win. Yes. And this woman That's is it. in charge of a company that has affected the narratives of dozens of games. She has put this into practice. She is not joking. No, exactly. Like to her, this is. 100% but they suck. Serious. No, but from her perspective, this is one thousand percent serious. But she's, she's gay. She is. I know, but she's engaging <laughs> in in her part of the revolution, right? This is very important to her. But she's she is, a homosexual. She, what yes, shitty ideas? But I know, but she's sees this as completely legitimate from her perspective. Happiness. By the way, did you guys ever so consider kind of why so many of these companies are, are in Montreal? Uh, Canada's oh, fucking gay. Oh, Canada. A home and a cold land. In the air, but I want to give an example of what these kinds of wins can look like, or at least what they have looked like in the past for We're me. We're going to get into like when she and gets really insane. I kind of want to say, okay, imagine me now as a player. Because this is my okay. go-to example, and it's something that like I talk about all the time, and it's the first time that I ever made a black character in a video game. And this is way, this genuinely is embarrassing to- Yeah, this is pathetic. By the way, also, uh, Chet, if you've not seen it before, you know what my shepherd looks like. She's also black. Uh, I've always uh... made my shepherd black. I make her look like Teal from, from Stargate SG-1. You look like a gay Milo. Her... Get fucked. 
Um, yes, I always my shepherd is always in black. Yeah, 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 Mass Effect when in 2008. Shepherd more pro trigger. Yes, my shepherd is always in black. I've always made the same shepherd essentially. So get fucked. So I've always made a. I don't care. It's just the truth. So this woman's experience as also playing as as a woman playing a black shepherd is so insane compared to mine that um i'm because you have a fetish by it no maybe yes you do i I didn't stop fucking woman before this when i was offered like a character customization screen i was like well i can't put myself in there because that that's weird and not what video games are and so i like fuck off dude no no one believes that no no one believes that shit Point I don't believe for one fucking second. You player made stories fucking actor, constantly. Actor, instrument, Jamie Banks, 2014, Woman, I'm fucking fucked. talking. Yeah, go ahead. Jesus fucking Christ. Source, sorry. Sorry to say the this source. woman <laughs> is fucking constantly talking about, oh, I'm making up stories for people to look like me. And then she finally gets an opportunity to do that. And she goes like, I can't do that. Why? Yeah. That's logically inconsistent. Look, Jamie Banks has given a, has given a speech. My, my, my advisor has given a speech at GDC. The woman who I just described, who who, who described the, the four point player typology, she's given a speech at this fucking same conference, like three years before this, and she isn't fucking. She's not. You're not aware of the research on this. Well, sounds like you're a fucking idiot. Uh, my bad. I I just don't like stupid people. <laughs> four point player typology, Jamie Banks. Let's go. I made some like stubbly white dude protagonists, even when I had like every option available to me because I didn't want to feel like I was putting too much of myself into this world where I didn't belong, and it's wild to think about like. What? This world that you didn't belong. You, what the fucking hell are you talking about? Dude, I always play as a black woman because I don't want to be myself. I want to be someone else because I'm, I'm in a fucking fantasy world. What the fuck? I just created Nathan Drake, so I was like, go. Explore every game. So um, but anyway, this is the first so, time that I actually... Okay, so your, ava- so your, your four-point typology is that your, your avatar is as other, I guess. Or, which puts you in, into a minority. By Oh, no. Oh no, it's it's Avatar's object probably, or is tool. That's why. So she puts her in the minority, or the, she mean the majority. She's she's a, Avatar as as object. Avatar's that's the majority standpoint in the topology. <laughs> cool, caught you out, bitch. Actually, made a black protagonist was in Mass Effect in 2010, and that felt really really great. And I know that everyone at GDC has seen like has seen a lot about Mass Effect. So many talks talk about Mass Effects. I think it's Sorry, very important. We're, we're um, Effect, but for but... anyone who's never played it, I'm just going to give you like everyone's a little played it. Of Come the first on. playable area. Basically, your fully customized Commander Shepard has to enter a space station and rendezvous with um, two characters, Jacob Taylor and Miranda Lawson. But you mean- She's talking about Mass Effect. Isn't that interesting? She's not played Mass Effect 1. Well, yeah, she's... because the black character is the one that's the, the fucking focal point. Aiden, that that's she cares about, why. Jacob. So she's not yes. played Mass Effect 1. She starts nope. with Mass Effect 2. Wow. Telling. Wow. Telling. There is isn't a Meet wow. Jacob first. And for those of you who don't know, Jacob is a black man. He's a Marine. And he's your first kind of, like, point of contact, so... Your first interaction with him, you're like crouching behind cover and you're having a close quarters conversation. And when this happened, in she the describes game, this as Mass Effect. She does not say Mass Effect 2. It's very uh, sorry, just I can't help but notice that. It was this because she's not really a powerful gamer. and yeah. remarkable moment for me because it was two black characters talking one on one and neither of them is cast as a criminal. They're not a sidekick. They're not a savage. They're not a stereotype. They're not a. Yeah, and my, and my shepherd. So they're not realistic, one. basically. Yeah, but. <laughs> that's been in video games for like Forever. ages. Like, yeah, they, forever. That, what, what, this Baldur's is Gate 1. Baldur's Gate 1. What are you talking about? Like, again, right. this is this is someone who doesn't like video games, who doesn't understand video games, so has no idea what the fuck she's talking about. Yeah, as you say, Scrum, it's been in, there, in video games for forever. She's just making this shit up. They always do this. They always do. The gang member. They're... What about Saints Row? What the fuck? You know what I mean? The only two people on screen in this moment talking about something much greater than them. And it was just like really, really, really nice. I, did, I left off a really, but um, I was so cool. happy about this moment that I actually took my phone out. To It'd be nice if you could use Oxford commas, wow. but whatever. Imagine your life being so small and sad and you being such a petty, degraded person that two characters with, a, with the correct skin color in a video game talking mm-hmm. to each other is what brings you joy. Imagine exactly. being that fucking person. That is who we are dealing with here. Somebody yeah. whose mind is small and who's, whose ideas are extremely constrained. Yeah. Yes. That's all she can think about. All she can think about is two 
characters who have the same skin color because I made one of the characters of the skin color are interacting. And that's that's change that's life changing to me. You know and what's most depressing about what you just so said, Scrum? Upset. Like this is the best advertisement for making people like forcing people to yeah. play as like a white man. She'd yeah. be so <laughs> upset if Shepard was a white man. He couldn't dis- right. he couldn't you couldn't right. customize him. And that yeah. just makes me want to like do that further. It's just like fuck you. You can't have these moments, you absolute crazy person. Because right. you it's it's also just like racial in group stuff. It's very yeah. obvious the fact that she is part of a racial in group and does not recognize people outside but, of her racial in group as human. But she's half white. Um, Clearly, I, I, she, she's I, half. She's half something that's not black. I'll, I'm going to invoke but, the one drop. <laughs> well, okay, but Bill, Bill said that he thinks she's half Jewish, but she she is not entirely black. Let's be clear. Like she she is she is not like she is not dark skinned, right? No way. Okay, I'm just saying she's not dark skinned. Well, <laughs> let me let me launch into my spiel here. In the, the yeah. problem, <laughs> let's go. The, the problem, okay, the problem with mixed race people is they can decide to be black <laughs> at any point. Yes, within exactly. the current <laughs> modern framework of racial politics, they can go from being like John Johnson, white man on your street, just as British yep. as you are, to going wagwam, fellow. How do you do, fellow Jamaican? They, mm-hmm. they can switch like yes. fucking that, and yep. it is a self-identification thing. The whole point about being someone who is actually like British or German or French ethnically is that they can't do that they have nothing to fall back on and what she's doing is as a mixed race person is she's re-emphasizing her non-white ancestry and in doing so she's making a choice it's a choice that basically anyone who is of mixed ethnic background can do in modernity which is they can switch between them no matter which you know Mm -hmm. depending on which is most advantageous for the situation at hand and that is but, a very important difference, yes. I think, between those people and and other people. It but she's a great the, demonstration uh, of that. Because what was that horrific woman who um, claimed to be like a BLM advocate who turned out to be a complete farce? Oh, Rachel um, Dolezal. Rachel Dolezal, right? Ah, the, tra- um, the thing is, the transracial stuff is kind of interesting for a second, but people start pushing on that. It'd be very funny if they tried to make people recognize that stuff, but they couldn't. So no, they. I, I think that I think it's coming though, because this woman again, like this woman to me. Yes, Rat King uh, Schrodinger's N. Um. <laughs> at least, at least to me, looking at her, her skin oh, color is white. Like she, she's very, very pale, uh, in terms of her skin color. She's, she's a fucking she's got, Colombian. But, but like, th- this is not someone. If you saw her on the street, you'd go, "That's a black person." You'd say, "That's maybe a mixed person," right? I. I call her a colored. And what I th- well yeah, from South Africa that would be that would be typical. What I always have found very interesting about this is that race grifters such as herself, when they are they're often mixed race and they always align with the race that is that they believe is maligned, that they believe gives them more so. Yeah, because it's fucking power in it, yeah. Because it's power. Because it's power. Um, even though and I can't. My guess is one of her parents essentially is white or or passes as white. Can you imagine Probably being mother. this woman's parent, whichever one it is, her father or mother, and hearing her talk this shit about how much she hates you? Essentially, it's crazy. I that would. I'm sure she hates her parents, though. I'm sure. I'm sure she has no relationship with them. Uh, just as a guess, because most leftists don't. Tends to be the case. But that's insane text my white best friend and I was like wow it was really just cool to see this scene in this game can you believe it and I was happy through the text when I realized like oh she isn't gonna see that because her shepherd doesn't look the same as mine but I texted her anyway because Why I thought would you know what not? I'm gonna share this they're the same fucking moment no it's because so, you can make your shepherd a different color all she cares really. about is race well, again, for me and she's racial in group stuff yes but my shepherd by the way also lady my shepherd was black I'm, a, I'm as white as it fucking gets. My shepherd in that scene Again, you have a fetish. I have no comment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm getting fucking roasted over this. Okay? Yeah. I'm yes, just, you I've are. Re, I've replayed this game multiple times. Was your I've shepherd a girl as well? Yes. You had a black girl shepherd? Yes, I Why did. Why would you have a black girl shepherd? Because I wanted to be... Because I... Bill, don't point at me. <laughs> don't point at me Not like... 
<laughs> Every character that she fucking gets, she makes black. I don't know why. Yes, it's... Irish, not white. German, Schultz, that, not white. Like, any stretch of the imagination. He's being so rude. Anglo, not white. You're at, you're close Wait, enough to an Anglo. Be Bill is listing off all the things he says Irish, are not white, which is that Irish, Latino. Irish, German, Anglo, he says they're not white. Wait, German's not white? I don't German believe this shit. Reset, nah, you, I to you lost, I told you, you lost your I mind, I told Bill. you this, Grump, that Bill doesn't think anything but his people, the Normans, are white. <laughs> but but what about the Swedish? I've, what about I've, the Swedes? I've seen some very white, uh, very shy uh, Swedish boys. <laughs> this um, said the Swedes were white. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I've. Uh... Okay. He just came up here, farted, and then left. Thank you, Bill. That's <laughs> I, very precious. Thanks, Bill. Um, <laughs> oh, what's wrong with the name Schultz? Okay. No, that's uh, the... no, oh, oh, That's fucking uh, Jewish. Uh, all the German it's a names. German have been name. Come on. All right. Come on. Let's go through this. I should uh -huh. just be happy about it. Let's keep going. And her response, while not surprising, was still very touching because she said, "I've never seen that either." Her response is, "Bitch, you're fucking nuts." Cool. Yeah, you're fucking nuts. And I told some other There's no one else who said that. You know who didn't say, "Oh, it's fucking cool." You went, "This bitch is fucking crazy." This moment that I had experienced. But they all felt the same thing when they heard me tell my story. When they heard that it was a new kind of term, and that the general idea was, "Holy moly, representation is cool." Holy moly. But. In my Mass Effect experience, this is almost an accidental form of representation. Because it's something that's a possibility. It's not guaranteed for any player depending on the kind of character in the Commander Shepard that you make. So I thought, wouldn't it be amazing if this wasn't an accident, but it was actually the intention of Here the we go. What if they actually said, you know this what, where we we're going to set out to create a moment of joy in people who look like... A moment of joy, which means we're going to force you. It's so funny that you have to go into fantasy fiction with character black characters that aren't criminals. It's I, so, I, like, I, telling I on yourself. <laughs> What she's doing here is telling on herself. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> now, anyway, let's keep going. Again, my, my character in Cyberpunk 2077 was also black, but I'm a criminal in, in Cyberpunk. So. Oh, that's you why know, you make them always black. <laughs> this. People who feel oh, is this your role-playing accuracy? This. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I can I respect the choice now. And it's totally... No, I just want to look like Storm all the time. That's a Sure, place. that's the reason. Because these are things that we can actually create hmm. as designers and as writers and as creators and not only are they new but they're very very narratively compelling and i think that that's ultimately what we should strive for because the newness of it works not only for those you're a consultant mm -hmm. you don't make the fucking narrative why are you talking as if that is what you do uh, that's weird that's you're no, not an official good, writer you fucking weirdo no because that's what they actually do in function no no they infect but the place they, yes, they come in yeah. and infect it. Yes, oh, yeah. that's what they do in, in practice. Yeah. Yes. Those who are, you know, being immediately targeted, but it works for everyone in that group. Everyone who kind of God, sees this it and has never seen it. Because keep in mind yeah. that when it's new for you, odds are it they've never so seen it either. Hang on. So you're not actually catering to one tiny group. You're catering to everyone who's going to be playing it. It's across the board. And that's a lesson, I think, that we keep failing to teach. Because we keep saying, okay, this one's for you guys. This one's for you guys. And like this one over here, like you can have it. But we can't keep looking at representation as like we're catering to a tiny little corner or like a direct marketing effort. You are. It's what everyone, I think, or hope wants as an audience. No, but you don't do that. You intentionally exclude white people. But Yeah, but surely the, all these choices are deliberately exclusionary, so this doesn't make any yeah. sense. No, I, yes, it, it's, just, she's yes. an overexcited midwit. She comes yes. across as someone who is so fucking stupid as well. <laughs> I know. And incredibly like, it's that, fragile. It's that specific thing about like a woman who thinks she's clever when she isn't, and it's so tragic. It's so tragic when you have a midwit who thinks they're an academic, and you just have to like cut them down. And if you actually cut them, like this woman looks on the verge of tears because yeah, she, she is, is not. She <laughs> yeah, she is not intellectually capable. Of having this conversation in like an honest capacity, so she has to. Run not only that, and, she's not capable of relating to a. I saw two yeah. brown people in a video game. Yeah. Oh, also, yeah. she, two she, 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 she's not capable of actually experiencing or sympathizing with another human unless it looks like her, which is fucking bizarre. Insane. Well, it's true. All all people like her are like that, and I yes. would just say that and not yes. say anything else. Well, oh, no, please tell me, true, please though. DM me what you mean by that after the show. Well, no, no, well, no, we know what it means, though. Is that no, like, but I like Scrum, uh, Scrum elaborating because he's he's very base. Okay, I, 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 I will, I will, I would elaborate, but I would have get the channel taken off air. So, no. <laughs> yeah, there, there we go. 
No, sure. I will not elaborate. But the the truth is that you're correct, <clears throat> is that people like this, for whatever reason, they, they seemingly are only able to identify with people who look like them and nothing else. And they have a very odd way of delineating delineating um who they ascribe to words that um in group propensity, right? Um Mm, I think it's a little bit fucked. I think it's a little bit scuffed. Just saying. It's a fucking and video game, you twat. I, I, it's it's a, just, I it's, and silly, it's a video game. It's a fucking video game. People can do whatever the fuck they want in a video game. It's a whole point. Sh You're shall we keep watching this, though? This is getting yes, a bit sorry, 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 sorry. I, know, I, know. Sorry, bit I actually think, okay, we all do want this. Angry. And I think, you know, especially no, we don't. in this room can actively say, yeah, that's what we want to achieve. But then the question is begged, why aren't we doing this? Like, why, when we're talking about it, when we're so enthusiastic about it, what's stopping us? Like, why are we still being told, oh, no, that's not what players want? Why do I keep hearing that it's like an uphill battle for it. people to bring representation to what should be? Because they don't want it. A very inclusive environment of creativity. And I think... Because it sucks. You know, there are a lot of answers. There's the fact that, you know, the industry stuck in its ways. Uh, the industry isn't as diverse as it should be or could be. Um, we're all socialized in this society Money. to kind of act against it and to fall into what is normal. Money. And there's like a dozen other answers. They're all like variations on Money. those themes. But kind of like a pseudo fun fact about me, that's slightly fun, is that I actually have a marketing degree. And so I want to put on that. Ah! Ah, uh, really? Really? They let you do a marketing degree? Wow. Which, oh. uh, which... Fucking kill me. Me too, bitch. I also have a mar well, I have a marketing uh I have an associates. But wow. no. You have but a marketing degree? No, I you don't. I, I it, it, it's uh I have a, a um what do you call it? Uh minor in marketing. I didn't refill my drink here. Um I have a minor in marketing. My degrees are in uh, communication emphasis, social psychology. Uh, and then I have a I have a full degree in public relations, uh, which was an emphasis really? in marketing. So yes, see, and then I have. So you see, you see, uh, Aiden, I have a real degree. It's called mechanical engineering. <laughs> yes, I know when I worked for your fucking shit, <laughs> and I did, and I and I fucking ran your shit, and I fucking did all, and I ran your, and I did the bids for the fucking arc engineering. Fucking, I did it too, dude. How do you think you get your bids, motherfucker? You me, see, me, I motherfucker. Did, did. You don't get a job without me. <laughs> <laughs> I did a degree. I did a degree in engineering, and now I'm an engineer. I didn't even do. I did a HR and then a top up to degree while I was working. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, you don't. You don't. You don't. Your fucking arc. Your, your engineering uh, fucking firm doesn't get a fucking I just, job I without me. I can't stand these saying. people though. It's like, oh, I have a marketing degree. Look at me. It's like, yeah, bitch. So does fucking everybody Everyone. else. They give that shit at, like candy. The candy, exactly. <laughs> Are you joking? What? Oh. What? What, what, what did you do? This? Spoon? What the fuck did you do? I didn't do anything. What, what happened? Was, what was this? Where'd the video go? What happened? Where'd it go? The fuck just happened? Uh... What the fuck just happened? Okay, hang on. Hey. We'll, we'll, we'll refine where it was. I don't know what the fuck just happened. It's about I, yeah, whatever. When we're talking about it, when we're rather than his pain of voice, the art go. that we make, we and how we're going to approach the audience. Let's keep going. Because I think so often when yeah. people like us get told, I'm, t I'm telling you, that you you can't even build your fucking bridges unless I you you get them throughout my fucking marketing plan. Just saying. Old, you know, <laughs> from higher ups. Of I did society this shit. Are you, I, you, know you, are you want a you job? You know we worked. You know we worked in, in similar. Fi what? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> isn't what players want it's We're not a conversation <laughs> about demographics sorry content it's a conversation about demographics I fell asleep and I think on my in our Fuck industry you and in so this many isn't about what players film, want television. in other words we don't give a fuck what you like in any art form we start treating our core yeah, demographics as up. a fixed what the fuck why did you do that fuck? again spoon i'm not touching the fucking thing hang on what the fuck okay and that I think would be amazing, and right, it's totally um, possible for us because these are things I'm we can speeding this we say. Okay, you can't possibly enjoy up. this, but I think they want also, and maybe you want also too. We can invite white dudes to play as other people and experience our monsters, here, anything, insane. so long as it's through a okay. lens that looks exactly like them. Because if that's the kind of person that we're always going to cater to, you're never going to innovate. You're never going to change oh, things. You're going to keep feeding the picky baby, and we cannot oh, oh, continue wait, to try wait, to create I've art and destroy this. I miss the picky baby. Also, here's an important thing: to experience new. She uses the term "picky baby." No, that, go book a white, that white dudes who don't like her shitty games are quote-unquote picky babies. 
that you're a picky baby, that a picky baby. Hold on a second, go back and like, say You're like, like, a, like a baby who, did, yes, who doesn't want to eat their greens. It's like a fibbit. So despite like the changing yes, face of audiences, despite the changing face of conferences like this one, want to eat we their still look at our core demographics yes. and say, okay, they're white, cis, hetero males. And we cater almost exclusively to them. And the problem is that we don't just cater to them like, you know, here, here's something that we think you'll enjoy. We cater to them the way that we cater to like a picky baby. We feed them the same Can thing that we know that they love. Can you imagine saying this shit? Here you go. Shit. You love it. Eat this. Eat this. Eat this. So that then when they get anything else. Can you imagine literally just saying, I'm feeding you goy slop? Yeah, it's just like, well, no. you're an audience. You know what you like. You like good food. You can't have good food. Stop picky, baby. It, the problem is that you were in Comic Skates. You know what happened. In the yeah. comics industry basically decided that, because Comic Skates kind of won. They did. They did kind of win for a bit. Yeah, they did. They, they they changed the industry, but the industry went, well, we're going to be smaller now. We're not going to cater to you anymore. We're going to cater to a mass audience, mm -hmm. and we're basically just going to make comics worse to spite you. And that's the problem is that's the end point of this, is that the video games industry becomes a lot smaller, a lot less profitable, yeah. a lot less stuff gets made. And... The, the issue I found is that people think that they won't suffer uh, monetarily for these ideas, but they will. They will yeah, just they will. destroy the entertainment industries rather than let you have anything that is neutrally yours. They will just destroy these things. And I think mm -hmm. that people, uh, the biggest mistake of Gamergate was not realizing quite how far things were. Yeah. It was very I mean, naive. Look, look, I think some of this sweet baby stuff is a bit naive yeah. as well. Look what she's saying here is that it's um you you, you can't have uh you know you're putting if you won't eat your vegetables essentially right you know like if you don't eat your meat you you have to you like you can't have your pudding if you don't eat your meat exactly that's literally what she's putting up here that you have to literally consume our slop you must consume our slop you don't have any choice and she's saying that if 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 people don't like it that they're being little babies if they don't want to consume her slop. That's insane. If yeah. you don't want to consume her slop, her political the ideology, then, then you're a little picky baby. Wow. No, that's I mean, not what it, she's saying. It is what she's saying. No, it's not. What are you talking about, Spoon? This is literally what she's saying right here. What are you talking no, about? No, she's saying that you, f you get fed like a baby. That's what she's saying. No, but she's, she's just in the sense. About... No, but no, she's, she... she's also no. Compl she's complaining about people who don't want to be fed the slop. No. It, listen That's to not it. What she's saying. Listen to it. Based listen, okay, Pink Floyd, yes. Listen to it. Thank you. Okay. They react as a picky baby would, which would be like, oh no, thank you. I do not want this. And what did I just say? And yeah, we've actually just done this so you, long you like that what we're doing is creating an entire nation of picky babies, and they make us scared to deviate from what we actually want to do. I just, this is exactly what I said, Spoon. Oh, She's no, that's, that the, no, that's not what you said. Now, secondly, let me see. Yes, it is what listen, I said. Listen here, you fucking colored bitch. I do not what? give a flying fuck what the <laughs> hell you fucking think, okay? Uh -huh. You can fuck off. If you were to fuck off from this industry right now, the industry would get infinitely better. Listen here, you fucking bitch. Your job <laughs> angry, right, is to shut the fuck up and give me what I want. You do not get fucking money unless I depart with it. Your job is to give me what I want. If you don't, you can fuck off. You don't have a fucking job. It is not your fucking job to tell me what I want. Well, technically You it fucking is. asshole. Oh, fucking no, asshole. actually it isn't. <coughs> it's uh, Spoon, Spoon has, Spoon, Spoon. She's not in the room with you right now. No, Just but this there's, there's literally fucking so thousands of these NPC fuck-offs. I know. Eat I know. a fucking dick. Stop telling me what I want. I'm the one with the fucking money. If you make a shit product, I'm not giving you my fucking money. Eat a dick. Simple this as that. Like, hey, you, 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 this, is, this is why I play like, you know, Sins of a Solar Empire mod packs. Because I've just oh, like, yeah, dropped yeah. out of oh, yeah. mod gaming. Cunts. I, I, can't, I can't deal with like modern game stuff. I can't. I don't think I'm playing Midnight like Club. <laughs> It's We're because, gonna... like, you know, yeah, Neve has been underground too. You know, it's uh, yes. I just, I just can't sometimes. The, the, I'm, I'm afraid gaming is a bit dead in my opinion. Yes, we're agree. just gonna, we're, we're just gonna do this. I think then we're gonna do a little bit more, and then we're gonna end because I thought maybe we're gonna get through like regular politics stuff, but no, let's, believe let's it or just... not, I'm, I'm completely so sober. Shit tonight. 
Wow, we play our games because you're mad. And my fault. We've I'm made sorry. a lot of progress. Obviously, like I don't say this to completely go like just give up. We've, <laughs> we've screwed it. What do you mean um, progress? You've yeah, managed think... to fuck the industry up, you limey twat. Shall we? Me. Shall we get into some super chats? Or should, does it get worse than this? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the super, hit the super chats at the end. Cool. It's still amazing that I can be seated in a meeting and told that out of 12 smoke, characters, we already have one black one, so there can't possibly be a second. <laughs> That's one I too many. Way too much. And I once worked on a project where they had an all-white cast, and they expressed Base. a desire, like, okay, we need to mix it up a bit. How about this character is kind of, like, stereotypically French? So they have a beret, and they have, like, a striped shirt. <laughs> and I was like, okay. okay. Uh, isn't it funny how the, the audience laughs at that? But if she had said, I wanted to have a stereotypically black character, and he's, like, got a do-rag on and, and a wife beater... That Why does anyone in the funny. chat think I'm, I'm currently drinking? If do you, you think need I, to I need that, alcohol to get mad? At least make them a no, no. Spoon's like this all the time. Person of color. And they said, oh no, that would be no. weird. They're already French. <laughs> so I want to do better than this. Because, and I like, I don't say that to be like, but she said kind of the quiet part out loud, which is that they're more than happy to do stereotypes of Europeans, that's fine. But any stereotypes of blacks, that's a no no. She just yeah. said it outright. Oh, you know what? I'm going to dismiss all the hate and the abuse in our communities. But oh, I do like to imagine that when we look fucked. at uh, white guys, and there's several of you here. Um, oh, oh, I think no, that when we look at you, white we say, okay, you can't possibly enjoy this. Here. <laughs> but I think they want also, and maybe you want also, to experience new and different stories. No, I, I think fucking know. This rule that like white men can enjoy fantasy worlds, aliens, sci fi, monsters, anything, well, so long as it's through a lens you? that looks exactly like <laughs> she can't. I guess that's the problem. Why yeah. can't you enjoy stories about different people? She can't. Why yes. can't you enjoy stories about the Insane. people that basically built the modern? Like, why can't you enjoy stories about like civilizational building people? Exactly. That you don't. You don't. You don't see yourself in these great stories about great men because you come half from like a dirt farming <laughs> civilization. <laughs> yeah. Based. I'm sorry. There's no. Mud, there's no mud cookie. There's no mud cookie Very baking. angry. Like the mud hut assemblers who have done nothing else but scratch from the dirt for their entire history. That is why she has got such a chip on her shoulder. Because her heritage, yes, it might yeah. be half from somewhere else, but she's focused on the fact that she is from nowhere, from a yes. people who have done nothing and yes. achieved nothing. And yes. that is why she is so angry. That's why, that's why, she, yeah, that's why she's having a fucking melt here. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's why, because again, the, these people, they hate the West because they envy it. They, they, yeah, of course, they, that's obvious. Uh, yeah, clearly. Because I've, actually been told, always... I've actually been told somebody, um, I think Scrum, it might have been you actually, someone said to me the reason why um, black people have this perspective mm. that what they do is they um, are in awe of essentially white achievement and they it makes them feel bad about themselves. Obviously. Yeah. Yeah, we did have that conversation, yeah. Shall we try yeah. and get through? Uh, let's tell you what, yeah, let's yeah, try sorry, and finish sorry. here. You're never we'll going to innovate. Some... You're never going to change things. You're just going to keep playing Sorry, I know so long. And we I cannot... Thought, not... I actually, let me get through this very quickly, but whatever. ...continue to try to create art under a system that is going to bar innovation for fear of a picky baby throwing a tantrum. That's because it's not profitable, you fucking asshole! A picky baby throwing a tantrum. It's called the audience. If the audience yeah, exactly. Your game, yeah, the, you stop. But, but her, sorry. her, her, and she says if the audience doesn't like it, they are a picky baby throwing a tantrum. That's why this picky baby has money. That's why the company is called Sweet Baby. What oh my the God, fuck? Where, why did, what why the did fuck? it do that again? Oh yeah, the irony. Why did it re? Why did it do this again? Okay. Whatever. And similarly, which one of you is I fucking with the thing? Get out of no out one. I'm glad I you're here. nothing. But I no think we need to. I don't know why it's doing that. Um. Okay. You know what? Okay. Let's just. Uh. We. We. Do you think we've got it? I think we have it. Yeah. I. All I right. Think we get. There's far. Clearly, too there's much some of fucking that. issue. I, can see, I, can I do. See a, I do have a timestamp so. on this. Uh, I do have a timestamp on this one though. Um, one second. Uh, do, do, do. uh it's 14 minutes and 53 seconds. Okay. I didn't mean to watch that whole big thing that we watched earlier about uh, that other stuff. Um, no, that was funny, though. Uh, here we go. And get some, like, so this is also people, here she is again, Kim Blair. Or, or even oh, this, this is, is the them talking about what they, they do, yeah. From, from those meetings. CEO uh, and CEO. You know, we'll think, like, we'll, we'll go on a project and go, like, oh, that person, like, reminds me so much of this other person. That it'd be great if they met. Well, we actually follow through on this and make sure people, you see some, you see what you're doing is off. Diversity stuff, yeah. Sorry. Um, Kim, 
talked about it briefly, but yes, we have a very, very diverse team and we believe that diversity is... Um, I guarantee you, if you tested these males, every one of them would have below normal testosterone. No shit. Guarantee you. Every fucking one of them. One of the best no vectors for innovation in the games industry that people too often ignore. Um, like I said before, we try to be additive in our approach. So we don't show up to a project and say, hey, these are all the problems. You're going to mess up if you do all these things this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You totally fix Spider-Man and Suicide Squad. You guys really fix those games. By the way, I would totally hide these up. people if uh, if I made a game. But Go I would do it. the exact opposite of what they tell me. Doing yeah. is oftentimes true, that true. Send good, it down good point. and make something mm. inoffensive. And what is wrong with this game? Kind of and then as soon as you're like, okay, uh, mm -hmm. do the and, exact and opposite. Kind of like, uh, too smooth. And so instead of we, we need a person it, of color, we, we need a Nazi. From an additive <laughs> perspective where yeah. uh, we want to bring joy to the player. If you're, if you're, a player you, you have, you have failed fucking you tremendously at that. Exactly. Represented accurately on screen, and you see a part of yourself that you've never seen on a screen, you'll get tremendous joy from that. And that's something that, like, that's the same kind of. I've already seen you, myself like, represented on screen. It's called like, Hitman. A design, yeah. uh, you know, a game design system, hey. uh, which also brings joy to the player. It's the same um, sort Agent of like, 47. output, but from a very different discipline. Yep. <laughs> um, yeah, we, we believe that game stories as they are now have lots of room to evolve and change, and we're at the, front, the forefront of like making stories more diverse and, and helping push these boundaries forward. Uh, it's, it's, it's all meaningful growth for us. You notice how subversive um, these that, cons are. Throughout that's all of this, we also do a lot of outreach. That's a part so I want to play there. Mentioned it earlier. Over. We, okay, uh, we I'm going to show some... To okay. set the stage for the next generation like, of... We're, we're clearly not getting out of this topic this tonight, so we're just going to... After us, uh, I'm going to now show my screen, okay? Mm. No more watch together. Um, Because Jesus H. Christ. Um, We're just going to go through what I'm going to show my screen for for the rest of the night. Because um, I don't think it's going to be much more... Because I've got about, I'm gonna give me 40 minutes, and I'm I'm gonna have to pass out. Okay, sweet, baby, sweet baby ink doesn't do what some gamers think it does, says Kotaku. So after all this shit oh, came no. out, of course. Oh, Kotaku's right? no, defending this. Kotaku wanna go? Of course, Kotaku is defending them. All right, who I'd wants to read around. this? I'd rather uh, kill I can myself. read some of it if you want. Go ahead, Scum. Uh, um, where do we get to here? Sweet Baby Inc. is not uh, is not the largest narrative design company in game in the games industry, nor is it solely responsible for the characters and stories in recent high profile releases like Adam Wake, Alan Wake Two, God of War Ragnarok, and Suicide Squad. Kill. It actually is. Justice All those are listed on the website. Yeah, it, it is actually is though. It actually is though. It's so, like it actually is. Lying. You fucking lying Kutaku bastards. Kotaku is lying, lying from step one. Thank you. Well, good luck telling some gamers that. Late last month, one of the company's consultants discovered a Steam group dedicated to uh, detecting games that Sweet Baby Inc. had worked on. The purpose? To encourage people to avoid those games because the group had, see, uh, had deemed uh, SBI was pushing a woke agenda by working f uh, towards greater diversity, equity, and inclusion. Again, DEI. Uh, the system, yeah. the Steam group now has more than 100,000 followers yep. and its own Discord that boasts nearly 2,000 members, but its Based. ire against Sweet Baby Inc. and DIE initiative in general isn't new. On October 23, Kiwi Farms post what? Oh no! Shares oh, no. similar sentiments, stating that the company's involvement in Remedy's award winning 2023 action game Alan Week 2 was possibly one of the biggest scandals in gaming history. By the way, Alan Week 2 sucked. Yeah, it was fucking terrible. No one remembers it. Like, who remembers Alan Wake? No two? one, because it Nobody, was shit. Because it was wank. It was yeah. utter <laughs> wank. Anyway, uh, the conversation around Sweet Baby Inc. has gained a I fundamental say that word more misinformed often. Gamergate. Oh no! Fires is gets back. Um, <laughs> can't escape from it. Like, August never Threatens. ends. <laughs> <laughs> Its employees have faced rampant harassment as a direct result. Industry figures have had to deny allegations that Sweet Baby Inc. comes in and completely changes their games. I spoke with several employees of Sweet oh, Baby Inc. You? to learn that what the company actually does and how the misunderstanding of its role in the industry highlights a far broader 
problem. This is just I again know. very basic defense of like diversity, oh, equity, and inclusion initiatives. Yeah, yeah, it's so stupid. Yeah, it, it, is there any reason this could? Is there any reason to continue this? Kotaku's no. just running defense for them. Of course it's, they are. It, of course they're running defense for them. It's Kotaku. Of course. And we're it's stuck Kotaku. in a fucking time loop. I, it's it feels insane. You know, do you know it? what I just find bizarrely stupid is that there's a level of insulting my intelligence that I detest about the shit. Because if I would just look at these people and go, hey, look, these are the games they've been working on for the last, like, what, five years? And you look at how well they were received. They're all shit. What do they all have in common? This fucking group has tainted the year. Yeah, the franchise. Weird. Yeah, so like obviously I'm gonna draw some basic conclusions. This place is shit. But so the there's also been some stuff on What's Twitter up, as? where uh, as who of course made the um fucking pronouns, fucking gender yeah. ambiguity. Like, mm. okay. So you can and fucking quarantine us that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, yeah, okay, oh, can I just it's find a great it? run that. Hang on, let me just find it. Because it's gotta be clipped. Hang on. Every it's, fucking it's, it's fantastic. It's look, it's such a it's such a fantastic <laughs> clip. And I look, I love as but I think that also that this is just a, a fantastic clip. He was totally right. He's been vindicated. Hey, you know hey Bethesda on every level. Bethesda. Oi, cow, <laughs> shut your fucking cake off. <laughs> 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 Let's go, I just want to say something to you, Bethesda. just want to say a little, little something. There is nothing I love more. Take him a half phones off. <laughs> Bethesda, Let's go, there ass. is nothing I love well, more. I just want to say real quick before he gets into this this rant is the reason, the only reason I have not met Az in real life is because he was doing other shit when this shit popped off. It's why he could, like, I think he was supposed to come to the, to the meeting last year uh in like august but it was right when this happened and so he couldn't make it to it i don't know if it was because of this and all of the fallout of it or not but he couldn't make it to the london meetup but <laughs> let's go ass more than to 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 sit down we're all there like supporting chair, him <laughs> turn on my pc fire up a brand new rpg uh, uh lose myself think oh my god just think of this world just think of all the planets i can visit all the immersive things that I can get involved with, all the fights, Ooh. all the relationships, all the people I meet, all the places I go. I'm so excited to go there. And you know, I love nothing more than with all of that laid out in front of me. I love nothing more than to be dragged out <laughs> at every fucking conceivable <laughs> opportunity so you can fucking current day us. Thank you, Az. You know what? I, so I did appreciate this. Sorry, he did was... you want to get... Yeah. <laughs> It was, I, as gay as it is, you know, I can't believe this is all reignited. And there's I, so many crazy, fronts of right? it. Fucking Lego butts, fucking Brianna Wu. All, I, I mean, we've not even I talked know. about the fact that you got accused of a bunch of shit. We're not going to talk. A few people no, asked we're not about the chat, yet. But we're Not gonna, yet, not yet. We're, we're not going to take... address that yet. <laughs> we got to find just, some data on that. <laughs> I, I might let you two handle the super chats. I'm going to go in a little bit because I've got to get to, you know, yeah, I, yeah. I have to work tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, me too. Well, no, um, I don't actually. I have a job. Um, <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, but... Scrump has a real job. I do have a real job, yes. <laughs> and thank you for having me on, though. Thank you for yeah, letting you. me run and put videos that endanger your channel into the watch together. <laughs> to be fair, we do that on a <laughs> weekly basis at this point. True, yes, I rage true. But, but I'm having a memory lane here. Uh, at some point, I might just go over that bro team thread with people at some point. Yeah. Because, good Lord, there's so much to this. I've fallen down a rabbit hole of my own memories. Uh, but he's right, though. And the problem is, is he's right, but it's such a small kiddie pool. I hate what, like, a small, shallow end of the culture war that it, video yeah. games has begun. Because yeah. it's become so passe. People have kind of forgotten yeah. about uh, how, how much it meant to people and how much they felt it. But really, I think that the issue is that they lost. Like, yes, people they did. did lost. Even, even with them winning... Comic Skate still couldn't do very much. Mm -hmm. And that, the problem is that the culture is downstream for the rest of society. Yes. And that was the real issue with something like Gamergate, is that it misunderstood the priorities. They didn't understand that they were simply competing against the like, the torrent, the, the, the powerful tide of, of culture that is downstream from law and downstream from authority. And mm -hmm. all of this, as funny as it is and as fun as it is to do all this stuff, Unfortunately, it did. Uh, people asked in the chat earlier, like, what did Gamergate achieve? Well, nothing. No. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid it achieved absolutely nothing. That's what we're dealing with now. 
it was empty noise. And mm -hmm. I spent years of my life making empty noise. And I cannot get those years back. <laughs> and I don't feel particularly good about them sometimes. I made I some good friends. I made some good connections. I, I met some good people. All kinds of weird shit happened. We called out some pedophiles. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Nothing changed. And it, that depressed a lot of people. And a lot of people dropped yeah. out because of that. I don't and get I've tried to reconcile with that throughout my internet history, but it's just a it's a case of I end up in these it, it must, it, causes. I hate it. it must be kind of weird for you though to like see this to literally see history repeat itself. It's happening again. That's what I mean. That, that's why I called the stream. That's my life. Like that's it, my, it, my life is just a series of it's happening again. I mean, but it, it is legitimately the exact uh, same history thing. doesn't repeat itself, but it does rhyme. Well, I'm maybe gonna, it I need to lie down. Okay. I'm going to have to go now. But thank you okay. guys for having me on. Uh, thank you, chat. Thank you to everyone who donated. Uh, do go and visit the channel. All that good stuff. Uh, yes, shill, go shill, shill. Out. I need to lie down. I'm out of scrump gas. I'm, so, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. I've, All right I've, take care. I've, I've gone down memory lane. So uh, thank you guys for having me on. Um, enjoy the rest of the stream. But I'm going to have to dip out. But I'll no, see you guys Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye -bye. night. I think we're going to just focus on the rest of the Gamergate stuff for the rest of the stream because there's no way we're getting to anything else tonight. It's just been too much. Um, mm -hmm. And who just to, just to play uh, the rest of Azza's rant, which I think, I don't know why people got so upset about this. Oh, Azza's I can tell you why. Correct. You get why? Yeah, of course. She's I can tell correct. them why. Yeah, I know, but that's not the okay. reason. Get immersed in our world. Yeah, well, guess what? Fucking pronouns! Fucking gender ambiguity! Fucking current day Californian shit! Cause that's all we fucking know! Cause we're boring! We're so fucking, fucking boring. boring! They are fucking boring. That's the thing about all of you motherfuckers. You're all fucking boring. You're fucking boring! You're so fucking boring! Yeah, I let you say that in my latest video. <laughs> I don't care about all. You're just fucking boring. As is completely correct. You've all, you've always been fucking boring. Yeah, it's the same thing on over again. Yeah, I'm tired of it. Everyone's tired of it. As is tired we of it. He was can't right. We see past our own fucking reflection. Yep. That's As the is level so of right. our narcissism here. It says the Western Game Company. I just want to play Fuck it out. Fuck your immersion. Fuck you having a good time. Go off, Fuck ass. you falling Go off, into a world and just getting lost. No, no, no. Current fucking day. Fuck off! Go off, King. You're boring! You're fucking dull! You have nothing to say! You are a one hived mind twat waffle! <laughs> That's all you fucking are! And you wonder why people are getting so fucking sick and tired! You take everything we love, all our immersions, all our Let's, fantasies, run, run, go off, King. all go our off, King. escapism, and you just can't help shovel your dog shit, fucking crap, ideology into everything, every go off, single King. solitary fucking thing. Dropped your fucking crown here, King. What the fuck? Based, unbelievably based. As is completely correct. He always was fucking correct. Let's go. As is always correct on that. Uh, yeah. Based. Dropped your fucking crown, King. All right. Um. So here is the act, ma'am stuff. Oh. Uh... Related to that, is that uh, so that that's Baz's uh original thing. So then. Act man, oh, uh, the act ma'am says that gorilla shaped man on verge of crying because Starfield lets you pick pronouns at the start of the game and then it's never brought up again. It is brought up again, by the way. Uh, the whole game is shit, from what I understand. I'm not playing it because I'm not going to fucking touch that shit. Uh, somebody please shoot this guy with a bear tranquilizer. He's going to attack someone. That was. As long as it's Bethesda, I don't really mind. In September of 2023. Yeah, that's about six Here we have ago. March, so two day, three days ago of 2024, Ackman says, So I started looking into this Sweet Baby Inc. stuff. I can't fathom a game studio that would hire a narrative consultant group. Isn't that really? what the no writers shit. are for? Why not just hire a better writing team and keep it in-house? 
laughing my ass off. You fucking idiot! I don't believe this, by the way. That he doesn't. That he didn't know this. I don't believe for one fucking second that slimy motherfucker didn't know who that group is. No, he didn't. Dude, you you have like one point eight million you're, followers, dude. There's no you way. Don't make in, you really th upset. There's no way in fuck you don't know who this this place is. Like you, you lying motherfucker. There, there was there was a guy who a couple like a year ago or like two years ago, Quantum TV, who tried to like destroy Ackman's career, and I yes. totally supported Ackman on that. Ackman, I don't support you anymore. You can get fucked, to be honest. You you now. But I want to. Where is this coming from? They're saying, oh, we don't understand. We don't know where this is coming from. Right here. Right here. Here it is. BlackRock. Larry yeah, we got the force here behavior. That's, that's an investment criteria for you. Well, behaviors are going to have to change. And this is one thing we're going to... We're the behaviors to are going to have to change. Uh, you have to force behaviors. You have to force behaviors. At BlackRock, we are forcing behaviors. At BlackRock, we are forcing behaviors. Of the incoming class are women. We He's are Jew, isn't he? Four more points in... One eight hundred. Come on now. Mm -hmm. He's a fucking small hat. Employment this year. Every time, every fucking time. I pattern recognition. Levels of impact. Your compensation could be impacted. Okay. We're doing the same. And so it's just it, you have to force behaviors. Fuck force off. Behaviors. You don't force behaviors, whether it's gender or race, or just any way you want to say the composition of your team. You're going to be impacted, and that's not just not recruiting. It is. He's true. Well, he's right about that. You will be impacted. Your company will get worse the 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 more melanated it gets. But what he's saying is that that's what they're going to do to everybody. Yes. Now, there's some more information. There's similar orgs, uh, such as Sweet Movie Inc. Mr. Obvious has released this. Uh, here's a list of Sweet Movie Inc. s consultation companies that propagandize games. Yeah, of course, there's shitloads of them. Gamers hit detection. Balance Patch, Silver String Media, uh, Stone Myar Games, Gamer X, James Mendez Hodis, Dragon Baby. What are you doing this baby shit? Yeah. Anita Sarkeesian, of course. Weird Ghost, Infinite Ammo Inc., Gamma Space, Case Crazy Cozy, excuse me, Cozy Comet Games. How much of those are run by women? Of course they are. And it is, by the way, a grift as old as time. Is it not? Because I'm going to show you something. A grift as old as time. Well, SBI isn't the only entity threatening developers and extorting them into getting them fired. Here is an old thing that was sent to CD Projekt Red from Anita Sarkeesian's group. After players gunned on the enemies like uh, and compounds, Anita Sarkeesian basically begged to be a part of CDPR, right? Anita Sarkeesian begged to be a part of CDPR. I am always available for consulting because it sure sounds like you might need it before the whole of the internet drags you for what sounds like some potentially sexist representations which we all know you've struggled with in the past. 2019. If, if, if I'm looking at the gaming industry... That's a threat, I'm just gonna is say, it not? Yeah, but here's the thing. When it comes to this industry... It's a threat. This is an incredibly heavily dominated male industry. No shit. I would never listen to a woman's opinion on how to sell to men. Fucking yeah. ever. Because you have no idea what the hell goes through the mind of men. You bitches don't even understand your fucking selves most of the fucking time. Like, you are a, a fucking creature stuck out of time. No one should ever yeah. listen to women when it comes to fucking anything with games. It's an industry that is completely male-orientated, and women have no fucking say. Shut the fuck up. So, according to Grums, who, who is worth a follow, who you do follow, um, know, yes. the US Gamergate Wikipedia page uh, says Gamergate was a loosely organized misogynistic online harassment campaign and a right wing backlash against feminism, diversity, and progressivism in True. video game culture. It was conducted using the hashtag Gamergate predominantly in 2014 and 2015, beginning in August of 2014. August never ends. 
<laughs> Gamergate targeted women in the video game industry, most notably feminist media critic Anita Sarkeesian and video game developers Zoe Quinn and Brianna Wu. Uh-oh. The harassment campaign included doxing, rape threats, and death threats. So this is the American Wikipedia campaign. Yeah. Here's how it reads in Chinese. The Gamergate ah, controversy China. grew out of a debate dominated by the hashtag, hashtag Gamergate. The control or something was uh, framed by a mainstream media by the mainstream media as an issue between sexism and progressivism in a video game culture, while Gamergate advocates advocates called it a social movement against mainstream media control of online public opinion. The term Gamergate is used to summarize the controversies, debates, and actions of those involved. What the fuck? Why is the Chinese version of Wikipedia Better. way more just fair? They also talk about Depression Quest. They talk about Zoe Quinn's shit fake games. None of that appears in the Western version of Wikipedia. Congratulations, ladies. You <laughs> made communist China look efficient and accurate. That's Insane. horrifying. I'm going to bed here in a minute. So let's just let's just let's just uh, finish up by talking about uh, the quartering going to war with Ian Miles Chong. Oh, I heard about this. So, I haven't paid attention um, to it, though. I know they so can't stand each other. I didn't other. even know where to start. Yeah, they can't stand each other. I didn't even know where to start. So, like, I just put his... I like name. Jeremy, though. I do. I do like Jeremy as well. So, um, as far as I could tell... Uh, Did I just see Dankula there? Yeah, just da just as Dankula, <laughs> Just yes. Dankula. Um, the amount of fucking appeared... people that thought he actually was a justice was, like, That's horrifying so to me. Okay, so I'm just going to give you guys the, the, the quick breakdown of what happened. Um, Ian Miles Chong accused Jeremy the Quartering of being a pedophile. Okay, that's what happened. That's that's the the I'm TLDR, guessing Jeremy the short, is not. For, short form of it. Yeah, that we could go through the whole thing, but the short is form there any is proof? that it was an old video where Jeremy was, and by old video I mean over ten years old. Where he okay. was saying, he was telling people like, hey, if you're going to take your, your computer in to be, because that's when he was working as a computer technician. If you're going to take your computer in to be, you know, Clean. dealt with by tax, maybe uh, put your porn folder away. Because they're going to look at it, right? Okay. Inherently. And Ian Miles Chong took that and... um said that it was proof that he was a pedophile. Uh, this is it. How? Yeah. Because him saying to clean up from a like a 12 or 13 year old video of him saying, hey, it's probably in your best interest to clean up your porn folder so that people don't find it, which is, come on, like simple shit. Like everyone knows that. I, I don't I mean, see like, what where, where where is the pedophile thing. Well, uh, that's not even just a fact. That's like because, that's not even a suggestion. In this particular instance, in this particular instance, um, Jeremy was talking about a case wherein he, as a technician, did find CP on somebody's computer, and then guess oh, what? Okay. What did they do yeah. with it? What did they do with that? Boone? They found the authorities, obviously. I imagine. Yes, they did. They went and okay. contacted the authorities. So where's the bad part here? Well, he said to people like, "Hey, clean up your shit." And, and so, found CP, and so Ian like, Miles oh. Chong is saying that now that means that that Jeremy the Quartering is trying to defend pedophiles or something. I don't know. It's insane. It makes no sense. Um, now, of course, Ian Miles Chong used to at least work for the Rebel or Rebel News. I don't think he does anymore. It, he appears to have been dropped by it. I wonder why. Um, now, I've never had any beef. He's, he's a bit of a I've never character. had any beef with E. Miles Chong, but E. Miles Chong has done this for years. He just makes insane statements. He steals content. He's been doing this for years, and I can't believe the Rebel has... I didn't even know that the Rebel had um, employed him for so long, but that's how it is. So, oh well. He's known for being a very shady character, but like a yep, whole bunch really of people. Yep. Anywho, um, 
what I want to say is that I think that kind of brings us to the end of this segment of it. And uh, Spoon, do you want another stream on um, like Saturday? Because I'm too tired to do anything else tonight. I'm exhausted. Okay. All right. Let's. Uh, um, um, <laughs> we'll head out for tonight. Yeah. All right, guys. We got we got the whole we got the whole Gamergate thing out tonight. So here's the Gamergate stream. Right. All right, we'll see you all I soon. I may actually I may actually still do a video for like. Sure. What's the time now? Uh. Oh, oh wait, sorry. no, I, just, I know. Hang on, I have to read all the super chats. Hang on. So oh, yeah, ten, beard 12, for five 11, 10, yeah. says, "How much do I need to no donate to get uh, as an artistically detailed rundown of the people and events of Gamergate that ends with the connections of Sweet Movie Inc. today?" I don't know, sir. Ask Aiden. Uh, Dreadnought for 10 says, to be fair, Sargon has gone on to do basically everything he can to do Western civilization. Just not enough, but I respect the fight, as do I. I get you. Uh, Avan for I don't think get years. Charles the King, uh, the Charles the Third to yeah. abdicate. Yeah. And at least Avan get the uh, Ridge William to overthrow the parliament. <laughs> yes. Avan for five years says, for many people, uh, this is the equivalent of looking back at their emo years. I know, isn't it? Yeah. Actually, it actually it so is. Much. Um, DRT is King for five says it's odd to hear of the old lore and enemies rise up and if people like spoons, uh, Oishi Kish Kirche, um, Oishi Kirche talking about this ethics in games journalism. Yeah. We're going to yeah. have Kirche, Kirche on soon. I think probably has a lot of I'm going to go says, on her stream. Uh, Oh, awesome. Says Sarah has a lot for another five says Sarah Nyberg, Sarah butts is not Lego butts. We did go over that. Yeah. Lego butts is Maya Kramer. Who was friends with Zoe Quinn and worked with jo Jonathan McIntosh? That's the guy who killed himself. And um, now he's she's Felix. Okay. Spin for two euros says, "Why does it all go back to Gamergate?" I don't know, man. Hasselhopper five says, "Scrump is wrong." Nicholas Snyberg. No, we we got over this. Yeah, Nicholas Snyberg, Sarah Nyberg, Butts is not involved with Sweet Movie Inc. Lego Butts, Maya Kramer, Felix Kramer is the one involved with SBI. Thank you, Hassel. We did go over that though. Thank you. Uh, Lucifer the Doberman for five Canadians says, I am Brianna Wu. Take this money and say as much based up as possible. Now you are my paid shills. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, do, you do you know what that's uh, a reference I'm not, to? Look, oh, yes, I know what's... Okay. Look, guys, I'm not going into this stuff. Um, If you want to know what's going on with the digging into to Brianna Wu's pack pain for people, it's not going to be soon. And I'm telling you why. is because this is not like... um. I would have just left this. I would have just dropped it. I would have just dropped it, guys. I would have just dropped it. I wouldn't have given a fuck. I would have just dropped it. However. Unfortunately, I got called out. I got called a liar. I got called a bunch of names. Now, I have been apologized to by one of the people who I, I did. Whatever. And, and you know me, Spoon. I don't, want to, I don't like to cause drama. So it's not me anymore. It's out of my hands. I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not engaging in this investigation anymore. However, there is an investigation going on now into this, okay? About um, potential uh, payments going on. About, about potential involvement. I'm not doing it. Scrum's doing it. So, whatever. Um, not going to be me. Because I, I, I don't look. I don't, I don't want any more um, animus between anybody. But if, if there, if there are any, if there is any weirdness going on with the, um, with finances, and the the real reason why we can't find the finances right now with Brianna Wu's pack is because Brianna Wu's pack is so new that they haven't been able to file taxes yet. I'm just saying that to be honest. That's the truth. Brianna Wu's pack is so new, they haven't been able to file taxes yet. And when the taxes come out, I guarantee that what, what are we going to see? Oh, taxes, uh, this month, this huge amount of money went towards X, Y, Z, you know, okay. Just saying. Um, I'm not you know what's really fucked it. up about that? Mm hmm Is you got called out for something that I said. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. And the thing we it is, the, it. The, the thing that's so fucked up about that is that, um, and this is Look, what I, made Adam it. Adam said he has has no issue with me, and I'm not. Uh, I'm not taking it up. If someone else wants to take up the that that 
fucking um, torch, then they're more than welcome to. I'm not doing it. Yeah, but yeah, okay, but um, you can say that. But the thing that I just found so suspicious is because I never mentioned you, and I never mentioned Brianna Wu. I just said there was a, a claim through the grapevine, and then Sis just said the utensil and Aiden Paladin. I'm like, Aiden didn't say shit, and I didn't say I Brianna didn't say Wu. Shit. No, yeah, but no, in this thread, I didn't say but that. But at that point, he didn't know that at that time, which which made which is what made it weird. Okay. Yes, which and then weird. and then when I said to him, I didn't mention Brianna Wu. Why did you? And then he just said, "Oh, no. look, I've I've been discovered." I'm like, Sitch, if you heard me or Aiden say it, why didn't you just say that? To say that, oh, look, I've been discovered, and then you just make jokes about it makes you look really shady. Mm-hmm. I mean, you could have easily just said, oh, I heard you on the stream say it, and then, or just ask me for proof. If I didn't have any, I would look like an idiot. Why this? Yeah. If, if, if somebody accuses you of shit and you are innocent, the first thing you would do is ask for proof. He's never done that. That's what makes me think, okay, that's a but, very weird response. Uh, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, 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 no, I'm divesting myself of this. I, I, I don't want any more to do with this. Look, okay, if someone can find something on it, then that's fine. Uh, I, I'm just, I'm divesting myself of any kind of, um, if there is some um, financial involvement between Verona Wu's multiple packs, which are there, there are two, which is Rebellion Pack and Progressive Victory. Um, now, what we know is that for a fact, um, at least as far as I've been able to confirm, uh, that yes, Verona Wu's pack, um, Progressive Victory, not Progressive Victory, excuse me, Rebellion Pack, has paid um, certain streamers, particularly Wick TV, would be the person to look into. Uh, Wick TV has been paid by Verona Wu's pack uh, to... Uh, uh, let's be very clear about what's happening. Uh, what Verona Wu is paying them to do. Because it's, it's a lot of very, like, specialized language. Verona Wu is paying them to have, quote, certain conversations about left-leaning ideas. Verona Wu is not paying them to have a specific idea. But let me put it to you this guy, this way. This Let me put it to you this way, guys. If I'm saying, I'm going to pay you, I'm a left-leaning person, and I'm going to pay you money to have debates. And then if you stop having debates that don't align with my left-leaning politics, well, then I'm going to stop paying you. What do you think that means? I'm not making you being paid more to at least host the debates. than that. That's my implication. That's all I'm saying. And it's not, it is not about Adam and Sitch in particular. It's more about WIC TV, okay? Right. Let me ask you guys a question. If I suddenly hosted Vorsch on my channel, hypothetically, we didn't discuss monarchy. What do you think? What do you think is going on? Yeah. Aside from you, I lost my fucking mind. And then, why do you think that is? Do I think Brianna paid Adam and Sitch Lucifer? I have no fucking idea. The reason I brought it up before is because I said it. It, it, it looked weird. It looked weird because Brianna Wu's pack. Okay, Brianna Wu. It's not her pack. It's a pack that she's the vice president of. Okay, she's a she's like the VP on two packs. It's not my company. It's like one of which is which is people. Progressive Victory. The other one of which is Rebellion Pack, uh, which she co runs with Shank Uger. And really, both of the yes, yes. And so, ah, I wonder why you hosted Anna. It, yeah, is that not? Are you starting to ask questions? Do you know what I mean? Like, are you not trying to ask questions? Do you understand what I mean? Like, I'm not, I, look, I'm not trying to, like, be fucking tinfoil head. But, okay. Yeah, how the hell did they get Anna Kasparian? Um, Because Anna is, like, really big compared to their channel size. Like, yeah, that's, that's. Uh, hmm. Yeah, yes, we're similar different. I know, and I know that you like Adam and Sitch. I'm not trying to, like, fuck with them. I, I, look, my, I my thing is Lucifer. I know that, and I know that you're, you're a fan of them as well. Um, I'm not doing the research on this anymore. I've dropped it. I went and left it to Scrump. So, Scrump's doing the research on it now. If that comes out, um, and does turn out that, that people are being paid, then they're being paid. But, on f the, the, why I'm finding it a little bit weird is only because, like, look, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. And I'm not trying to be weird about this. You're talking far too much for that. <laughs> I I don't I do not know what's Again, happening. Again, you sound like a woman. Well, I I'm trying to be as 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 
vague as for possible. Legal reasons, also, for legal reasons, I'm trying to be a, as non-committal as possible. If they if can't somebody, sue you. I, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. I'm not think, saying they're going to sue me, but like, I just, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm a little bit, I'm confused by some stuff regarding Brianna Wu's multiple packs. Okay, I'm a little bit confused by it. I found out about it by Chud Logic's reporting. I talked to Chud about it. He gave me a little bit more information about it. It was about what I expected. It was about what he already had told me, what I had already heard about it before from what he had said on live streams. So I, I'm i sorry. I just, I I think that there's there might be something really kind of weird going on. That's my suspicion. And and why do I have a suspicion? Because we know for a fact that people like... Um, Someone accused me of simp. Who am I that, there have been, that there have been other YouTubers who have been paid for by the UK government to to promote certain yeah, ideas like con not contrapoints it was um not not con it was contra contra contrapoints was it's one of them it was another one too i talked about it was scrum earlier i forgot their fucking name whatever um yeah this one leslie yeah i know wrecking i'm really tired philosophy um, tube philosophy tube thank you um maybe i don't know um Aiden, you've basically said the same thing like five times now. Sorry, sorry. I'm I'm just trying to uh, whatever. I need to get through the rest of the super chats because I am I'm getting I'm really tired. Okay, Jernegi for twenty says, <laughs> "Thank you for Jernegi." As a fellow half gay, here's Spoon's F word card. There you go. Yay. Lance for two says, "I feel like we're in Groundhog Day." I'm talking about the yeah stuff with Gamergate. Uh, Supreme Emperor Kizla sent me a YouTube video. Uh, it says, I got the gas right here. Enjoy all. Sorry, because I'm not going to be able to get to it tonight. Um, sorry. Uh, Paul Rowe for $5 says, please do a stream of trying to speed run being banned from political streamers' discords. Probably a job for Spoon. <laughs> yeah, somebody said to me to go to Twitter. Destiny's Discord and do that. I can send you a link to Destiny's Discord. Uh, Lance for two says, this is the worst AVGN episode in a while. True. Has a hop of her five says Gamergate exposed all of this rot and nepotism, but the industry ignored it. To now, here we are, a decade later, with two hundred dollar flops, two hundred million dollar flops. Yes, I know. Um, where that one? Uh, DRT is king for two says Spoon desires to top Dev. It is known. Do you, you want to top? No, him? I think Canada is Canada. Uh, sorry, Canada's already fucked enough as it is. True. Jernegi for five says five bucks says the narcissist puts people she hates in the torture porn. I don't know what that means. She means the super being employee. Oh, uh, uh, Lance for five says my favorite work of classical literature is Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. My favorite, my favorite white male writer. Yeah, very based. I was a woman though. But yes, <laughs> I get you mean. I, I get the meme. Slosh for ten Canadian says how mad would this chick be if you called her a half breed? Oh, talking about that woman in the. Yeah. Oh, I so fucking would. <laughs> Two euros says a black girl getting raped. Oh, the poor rapist says spin for two. Uh, Beard for five says. God, I'm not that oh, bad. Jesus Christ. These oliganaceous twits only see the superficial. They are incapable of seeing the underlying universal humanity experience in stories. In stories, that's yes, a good they point. They actually, they they don't they have the capacity yes. to do that. They have no capacity for universe universalism. No. That should kind of fucking Weird. tell you something, and those are the people that you want yeah. that, that sell themselves as, well, we can make more complex stories. You you want to make more complex Except stories, no. but the main thing you fucking do yeah. is just to shove your own fucking skin color mm -hmm. and deterioration of the the, mm -hmm. the product. And the, fuck out of here, you lying bunch of bitches. Oh, hey, Comics Division. Sorry I didn't see you in the chat. How's it going? <laughs> and Bill says hi, by the way. Uh, Beard for Five oh. says, what has a bigger impact, a story about being a misfit or a specific story about being gay? But being a misfit, because everyone everyone can experience being a misfit, not everyone can experience being gay. I still am a misfit. Uh, Danish jargon for two says, "I love being a background character." Me too. DRT uh, is king. DRT is king for two says. S in the chat for the Fable series. We all know that it's DOA. Oh man, I saw that. Ooh, I saw that trailer. Yikes. Uh, Funky monk for ten euros says the correct answer is Miranda. It's Tally, but okay. Uh, I, Adam, Adam, the spaghetti fanatic for hey, five Miranda dollars. Hey, Miranda is hot as fuck, by the way. She didn't play a black character when talking with Anderson in Mass Effect One. Isn't that cute? I did, but yeah, he was also a black character. What the or you know what the hell, right? Or it's possible because she didn't fucking play Mass Effect One. <laughs> hey, comics. 
Um, Slash Shepherd. Sorry, if I didn't see you early comics. I was just paying attention to the stream. Um, Slash Shepherd twenty says, "I've used this and anal- I've used this an- analogy. Why can't I speak? I was trying really hard not to say the word anal. I've used this. <laughs> I've used this yeah, analogy did, before. These people will tell a successful steakhouse to stop serving meat." and serve cauliflower steaks instead, then insult their customers when they don't like it. She said the same yeah. thing. Yeah, I know, right, man? I know. I know, right, man? Ugh, Jesus. And then Hasselhopper for Five says, Sweet Baby Ink proving once again that if you take their mask off, they die. Turns out turns out they aren't big guys for anyone. Well, I'm a big guy for you. Let's go. We got through it. Dudes, um, we're heading out early for the evening because I, 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 there's no way I'm going to do it. There's too much stuff tonight. We're just, this is just a sweep. We're just focusing on this <laughs> Camergate 2.0. I couldn't deal with Scrum being on here <laughs> to give all his like ancient Gamergate history stuff. That was very yeah. fun. Um, anywho, uh, uh, Spoon, if you want to stream again on like Saturday, we could do that to get the rest of the politics stuff through. Yeah, what we can do. Okay, because cause it was a big Super Tuesday stuff. But we didn't go through it tonight. We just did <laughs> Gamergate 2.0. Anywho. Oh, uh, I'll see you tomorrow, comics. And then, uh, Spoon, I'll yes. see you uh, soon. Finally. We'll see if we can do another stream on uh, on Thursday or uh, Saturday. On How Saturday, about that? Yes. Blech. Yeah. Words. Okay, see you all later. Cheers. Bye-bye. All right.